The Jordanian ghost hunter, known only as Mr. Harith, is back at it again with more scary stuff caught on livestream video, this time while exploring an abandoned house once inhabited by an alleged witch. I'm so alone. This could be one of his friends, but each time he looks in the room the witch was just in, the figure has disappeared. Things get really weird when this ghost caught on livestream mysteriously disappears as well. This might have been caused by a live stream delay, except it doesn't drop frames and the resolution stays the same. The ghost witch is simply there one second and gone the next. This neighborhood in Lando Lakes, Florida was built on shaky ground and now the earth is reclaiming the houses as its own. Within the course of nine hours, this house is completely snapped in half and sinking into a swell of groundwater so deep that it engulfs a palm tree with ease. Through the water, see how much water? Oh. <laughs> Hours later, the sinkhole has easily quadrupled in size and is busy dismantling a second house. There is nothing that can be done as the foundation is ripped away. Here you can see how close this third pink house comes to being lost in the abyss. Only a small strip of land protects its corner from going under, but somehow it holds firm and the family is able to recover their belongings. Sadly, all of the remaining houses had to be condemned because even though they were spared this time, the sinkhole could randomly widen at any minute. It's a terrible situation, but perhaps most terrifying is that moments before their eventual collapse, you would never suspect that anything was wrong. All of the houses look structurally sound in these photos taken months prior. The yards and driveways look level, the telephone poles stand straight up without leaning, and the roads likewise look smooth and have little cracks. In other words, exactly like your neighborhood probably looks right now. YouTuber Donnie Drunkard has been battling a poltergeist in his home for years now. This is one of his strongest pieces of evidence. As he's attempting to communicate with the poltergeist, he feels something touch him. Kick, kick. I had, I let something touch me. Later, using a Kinect, he sees an entity dancing around his bathroom. The entity slams his toilet seat down. Watch closely and you'll see the lid fall. Is this poltergeist good or evil? What does he want from Donnie? I think I know. He wants a bit of privacy. This paranormal investigation takes place in an abandoned building in Indonesia. I can't tell what is being said, but you don't need words to tell this person is being relentlessly stalked by something not of this world. First they play some kind of song which I think is meant to summon spirits. A short while later a shadow person peeks around the corner and appears where his thumb is. If somebody could please translate what is being said here, then maybe it could help us piece together what this video is all about. <laughs> I don't think he noticed anything at first, but this is the exact moment he sees the spirit. Again, please translate if you can, and tell me if you think he sounds sincere or if he is acting. The 
The way he turns in bolts without saying a word is very realistic, so I'm inclined to believe this is not a joke. And when he looks again, the ghost is up way high in the left corner. I think he is losing his mind at this point and he squats in the corner to hide. He thinks he is safe, but the door opens and closes by itself and a strange mist floats up towards the knob. He runs away and stops to look around, panting, completely out of breath and scared senseless. This faint moan before the video ends makes me think he did not make it out alive. <sighs> This footage was supposedly taken by a 911 caller and later edited to include his actual 911 call. The caller starts out by saying he's hearing some strange noises in his basement. And this ghostly basement sighting is what supposedly caused him to make the call. Look closely, and you will see that this does appear to be a shadowy figure from another time period. I personally see someone from the Victorian age, perhaps a woman with a large dress and oversized hat. He runs upstairs and makes the call after seeing her. Then again, if this video was real, then I don't know how he would have gotten a copy of his own 911 call. I could be wrong, but I think those are private records and generally unobtainable. There are also sound effects that are obviously put over the video once he sees the ghost, so maybe this is just a prank after all. It could be computer effects or even a mannequin. Of all the scary creatures I've seen, this unknown underwater sighting is probably one of the weirdest. Check out this creepy video uploaded on March 20th of 2012 from a cheap cell phone in terrible weather, so unfortunately the resolution isn't that great. Anyway, the sky's dark and overhead, as if heralding the arrival of something dreadful from beneath the ocean waves. That's when this strange sighting is caught on tape, and I'm not sure what it is. A whale's head, the tentacle of a giant creature perhaps, or maybe something even scarier. A creature slaps the boat deck and then goes underwater with a 9 to 1 like to dislike ratio. Most people seem to believe this scary video is real, but I can't say I agree. Here's my analysis. Like so many others, I too thought it was a giant creature sighting at sea until I noticed something strange at 9 seconds into the video. Pool railings, or so I suspect. If I'm correct, then this must have been taken at a swimming pool, not a boat like the title says. So either this was a strange creature sighting in a pool, or, and this is what I'm going with, it's merely footage of an aquarium show edited to look scarier than it was. This kind of looks like the tank of a killer whale, so maybe this was taken while training one. If this is fake, then congratulations to the maker of this video for fooling tens of thousands of people into believing believing it was real, and going after a boat, me too at first, at least until some further analysis. This video was taken at the Galway Swimming Club in Ireland. It may not seem like much at first, but lion's mane jellyfish like this one can grow larger than a whale and have more than a thousand poisonous tentacles. Each one can be over a hundred feet long. In other words, it's one of the last creatures you'd want to ever see lurking in a public swimming area. Hundreds of these slow-moving monsters have been showing up on the west coast of Ireland and no one knows why. Marine experts are completely baffled as to what could have changed in the waters to accommodate them, especially in such large numbers. Meanwhile, lion's mane jellyfish are continuing to send swimmers to the hospital, and the infant station shows no signs of slowing down. A large white creature has been constantly creeping around the yard of a YouTuber named Sans for a long time now and no one knows what it is. The latest sighting happens during broad daylight and his camera is able to pick up more detail than ever before. 
you can see here that the creature is not very big, roughly around the same size of a nearby dog, and judging from this dog's behavior, I'd say this is clearly a real creature and not one of his friends wearing a costume. If you need more proof that this isn't a person, watch how it scratches its head with its foot at a weird angle. No human would be able to kick that fast. I would say that this is a rabbit, but I don't really see any ears and the legs look distinctly human when it walks. Tell me what animal you think this is. Until I get a better explanation, I will continue thinking that this is probably a humanoid of some kind. It's a little past 3 a.m. and this video is about to get weird so I'll try to explain things as best I can. For a second, the doorbell camera goes out of focus and then this weird thing floats across. Not an orb, not a bug, not a bird, no wings that I can see. It's just a big out of place anomaly that the uploader of this video was unable to explain and I fear I can't do much better. If you've seen anything like this go across your ring doorbell camera or any other doorbell cameras, then explain what this object floating by was. I'm not the only one who would like to know. What would you do if you saw this floating over your neighborhood? Shared by YouTuber EXTV, this video is trending in the Brazilian-speaking YouTube community. It looks like a scene straight out of Netflix's Stranger Things. In fact, it is. But it's not what it seems. When I dug into its origins, I found the freaky floating figure featured on CBS Chicago's news channel. But how did they get her to float? The TikToker, at Horror Props, who's responsible for the epic Halloween display, just shared how they did it only days ago. It appears to be a wire connected to a telephone pole. Well, I gotta say, that is certainly a crafty way to pull off something like this. Nevertheless, if I saw this while walking down the street, I would still be terrified. An invisible force has taken this man by the scruff of his neck, published in December of 2019. At the beginning of the video, the cameraman and another men off screen are yelling at each other. At a distance, a short figure in white appears to be standing in a dark doorway. Its features are indistinguishable. The two continue yelling at each other until the cameraman turns around and starts running away from the figure in the doorway. As he does, the friend who was yelling is captured on camera, holding a flashlight. But suddenly, he is thrown to the ground, and as if a mysterious invisible force is acting upon him, the man is dragged away. The cameraman runs toward him to help, and it appears as if he is thrown to the ground too. Mayhem ensues as they both try to fight it off. They finally manage to break away, and they start hurrying off, but the cameraman doesn't get far. He is thrown to the ground and dragged again through the ice and snow. He struggles with the force before being pulled, this time into a room. He manages to escape and run away, and when he turns to look back, there's a small figure in the doorway again. What is this force? Where was it taking him? He'd better leave now, or it might just get him this time. A YouTuber named Hunting the Dead dares to play with a Ouija board inside of his own home. Aside from using the board itself, he also has a ghost hunting device which scans different frequencies for any signs of the paranormal. 
He begins asking questions out loud, and it isn't long before he gets a fairly clear response. Is there evil in this home? The spirit then begins highlighting the same number three times in a row. Six. Holy shit. Six. Six. Hunting the dead soon finds out exactly who the spirit is and what it wants. Zozo, do you want to attack me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's on, yes, it went on. Shortly afterwards, Hunting the Dead begins to feel gravely ill and needs to go to the hospital. Three friends on a YouTube channel called W2S decide to invent a game that they will all soon regret. All you have to do to win is kick a soccer goal from a rooftop pass. After nearly breaking a window and denting a car, they decide to try the game one last time. When they go but out of all of them, this recording from an unknown Spanish-speaking country is the clearest. These people are from around the world and obviously can't all know each other. Yet each video is recorded between 2015 and 2016. I don't know if this is a warning, an experiment, or what, but I'm worried that one day we will find out. A YouTuber named MBJ Reports has a pest in his yard that has been bothering his dogs, so he decides to stick a garden hose down into the ground and flood it out of its den. Now they are waiting with a net to catch the pest and dispose of it if necessary. It isn't long before he sees two glowing eyes appear out of a second hole in the distance. This appears to be no ordinary pest, but rather a monster instead. It's something. I don't know what that is. It remains frozen in the beam of the flashlight for a while, hoping that he will leave it alone. Then the creature drops back into the ground below with a shriek. MBJ Report has had enough and decides to pull the creature up by its tail. He pulls back a red hand with a deep cut, which I unfortunately can't show here and the video ends. I notice that the creature doesn't really move its limbs at all and possibly looks like a toy, though I can be wrong. Even still, that doesn't explain the glowing red eyes though. So if you think you can tell if this is fake or real, then be sure to tell me how you know. If you ever find yourself swimming with the fishes, you'd better hope they're not piranhas. The bite force of a black piranha is incredibly powerful. It's three times as strong as an American alligator and 30 times stronger than its own weight. Point being, no dentist would want to work on these chompers. This video shows just how effective a piranha bite can be. Published in May of 20. 2011, this bite test was administered in Ecuador, holding a piranha in one hand and a stick in the other. The man brings the stick near the piranha's mouth and the fish easily and instantly snips like a pair of scissors. There's no question about it, if given a chance, the seemingly innocent fish will take more than a bite out of you. It may take a limb. This anxiety-producing deep web video is a collection of strange clips accompanied by multiple layers of creepy audio. After a while, it becomes increasingly demonic and obsessed with black magic imagery as the jarring audio intensifies. The video also contains multiple languages. I think this part, for example, is both Spanish and Russian. Translate this clip if you can and tell me what's going on here. This could just be an art project, but then again, maybe there's something more devious at work here. It's almost as if this video was made in as many different languages as possible to corrupt the greatest number of minds at once. Whatever they are saying, however, 
I'm not exactly sure. While out on his porch, this young man spots two green eyes peering back at him from the darkness. Published in June of 2020, Jimmy Reynolds lives near the edge of the woods, so it would be safe to assume that any number of woodland creatures are nearby. But what kind of creature is this? He approaches the eyes in the darkness, speaking out to it. What the hell? See, there it is. Hey! Oh, what the f You'll see that. But as he gets closer, it apparently runs off. Jimmy thinks it could be a cat or a dog, but people in the comments are of the opinion that it's something much larger. Some say it's a skinwalker or a crawler. Others say it could be a forest ghoul. Cat Anonymous writes, It's probably stalking your house for food. Not sure if it eats humans. In any case, this dude better lock his doors. This footage comes to us from Holland. A group of friends are exploring a park and decide to visit some watchtowers from World War II. The towers are closed for vandalism and it looks like their trip is over. Little did they know they were about to see something much more interesting than a cluster of abandoned towers could ever be. Huh. What the fuck is that? Hey! Kerel! Hey! A large black figure is observing their movements from somewhere in the distance. It looks like it is trying to hide behind a tree, which shows that it has some level of intelligence, but it does a poor job and gets spotted immediately. They began shouting for the humanoid to come out. Suddenly, a series of banging noises fills the forest and sends them running. When one of them enhances the camera footage, this is what they find glaring at them. Then again, I guess it's hard to glare at someone when you have no face. Whatever this humanoid was doing, it looked like it was up to trouble. The group might have been easily attacked if they didn't try to scare it off. Rankin Fishing is at it again at the Indian River Inlet in North Beach, this time hoping to hook himself some blue fish. Never was he expecting this. He gets a hit on the line and is a little nervous to find. In his words, The freaking worst thing catch. The arrangement of dark brown and black spots on its back immediately tells him this is a clear nose skate. Skates are similar to stingrays, except for a few differences I won't get too deep into. All that matters is they will defend themselves, however they can live another day. This one looks to be full grown so he has to be extra careful. It's not the tail he needs to watch out for, but rather the mouth. The clear nose skate has between 46 and 54 teeth on the top row, and around the same number on the bottom. 108 teeth total, small and blunt, packed closely together for dense crushing power like a vice. Its jaws can crack open, hard-shelled prey like clams and crabs with no problem. Your hand is no match. At 2 minutes and 56 seconds, the skate's bottom lip becomes lurched out and is perfectly aligned with the soft webbing between his index and thumb. The end result is something terrifying. There's a lot of red and yelling afterwards, and the only thing left to do after unhooking the creature is dip his hand into the salt water. Let's just say he's lucky the skate got this part of his hand, as opposed to a finger, which would have come right off. He wonders out loud if something's going to happen to him later. I'm sorry, that hurts so much. I hope they don't have any sh like toxin. I did some research and found that skates, unlike stingrays, do not have any toxins, so he doesn't have that to worry about. But he should still probably go to the hospital, because it might have some nasty bacteria around its mouth that he wants nothing to do with. He later describes this encounter as the worst physical sensation any deep sea creature has ever inflicted on him in all his years. 
He has my sympathies, and I hope, for the sake of his hand, that nothing else from the ocean is ever able to do worse. Ignorance is bliss, and sometimes it's best that certain things remain invisible to the human eye. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Miss Doolittle Tex. This video was taken at the Haunted Queen Anne Hotel in San Francisco. Originally posted on YouTube in March of 2020, Tex writes, I have been listening to creepy stories and been watching YouTube videos about ghost investigations and experiences since they existed, which resulted in me paying more attention to my surroundings, heightening my awareness. The Queen Anne Hotel has some history. Located on Sutter Street in San Francisco, initially built as a girls' boarding school, the Queen Anne Hotel is said to be haunted by the former headmistress, Mary Lake. Her office at room 410 is believed to be the most haunted room in the building. The uploader of the video booked this room to stay in overnight. In preparation for the stay, she bought a Fleur thermal cam for her iPhone. She duly notes that the hotel is charming as heck and she didn't feel anything particularly unsettling while there. That is, until she thermal cammed room 410. She tested out her thermal cam on her husband, on electrical sockets, water lines, and other hot and cold spots. Then she entered the bathroom. Pointing her thermal cam towards the half-closed shower curtain, she started to see a figure in the thermal footage next to her that she believed appeared from behind the curtain. As you can see, there is her own thermal image in its reflection, and not too far away right beside it, another full-sized figure. Could it be headmistress Mary Lake herself? When going through pictures she took of the room, the uploader also discovered this creepy face in the wallpaper. Do you see it? It's almost like the room is watching you. Something still haunts this tunnel, and Franco from the YouTube channel Franco TV is delving deep into the belly of the beast. He sees signs that he's not the first one here. It won't be like this for too long. There's even a handprint up there. But it won't be like this for too long. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get quiet. In the tunnel, he hears something off putting. He just heard something there, which caught me off guard. He asks the spirits a question, and they answer via the K2 meter. Si tu estás aquí conmigo, tu puedes hacerlo otra vez? It's going. See? When Franco turns off the lights, the spirits turn them on again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all the lights. So it's gonna be really hard to see anything. Okay? Yo voy a apagar todas las luces. As Franco leaves the tunnel, he comes across a makeshift memorial, which seems to indicate that a number of people passed away in this very place. It is actually ridiculously scary. Especially this part here. It looks like several people died over here. Did Franco just communicate with one of them? I have no doubt, and hopefully that communication helped them reach the other side. <laughs> This tiny humanoid lays on the tile floor, its arms stretched helplessly in front of it, as if it had been crawling to safety before it stopped on its side. When you zoom in really close at 32 seconds, you can see the head is much darker than the body, and it almost looks like it has two eyes and a thin, expressionless line for a mouth. Definitely not the face of a rodent, and definitely not like the face of anything I've seen before. I don't know if this is a shriveled up baby mouse or what. I can almost see a tail behind it, but then again it looks like it could be its legs. It looks more like it walks on two legs than four. You may remember this story from one of my previous videos, where Steve Ronan and his group of friends found a lost girl in a deep underground cave. One of the people with him was fellow YouTuber exploring with Josh, and we can analyze his footage of the event for more clarity on what happened. The group stumbled upon this scared girl while exploring the cave, and they reunite her with her parents. What remains unclear is how this girl managed to wander so deep into the cave with no flashlight or supplies. We were so curious to know what was <laughs> through this tunnel. This is crazy, man. It's okay. It's all right. This is the way back. Numerous news agencies have now covered the story, with none being able to offer an explanation. Nevertheless, she was clearly lost, and if it wasn't for these YouTubers saving the day, 
she may have never made it out of that cave. A four-circuit CCTV system in Japan shows a woman waiting to get an elevator, but what we're looking at is the woman in the upper right monitor who is about to do the impossible. Did you see it? If not, I'll show you again. This does appear to be at least somewhat edited, especially when you pause halfway through and get that green screen look, but maybe it's just a glitch with the video file, and I need to accept the possibility that it could actually be real. Proving demons rights, on our paranormal investigation at a haunted hotel, we capture a real shadow person hat man on video. Are you wondering what a hat man is? Let Dana Matthews from the site Weak and Weird explain the phenomena. According to Matthews, shadow men came creeping out of the shadows in 2011 when paranormal radio personality Art Bell cast a light into the darkness on his radio show Coast to Coast AM, and the result was a burgeoning community of people coming forward, explaining their encounters with these phenomena. Out of this shadow people phenomena, another slightly different experience arose, encounters with the hat man. Much like shadow people, the hat man often appears at nighttime, wearing a wide-brimmed hat, hence the name. Those who encounter him have described him as a solid black mass, darker than a shadow without discernible facial features, and no describable lower body. Apart from a long flowing trench coat, the hat man is often seen floating and moves without sound, quite frequently in a basement setting. Another quality of this phenomena is that the hat man tends to appear in places of high negative energy and family dysfunction. This video shows either a hat man or shadow figure haunting this generally creepy house. The figure flies down a hallway, disappearing into a distant room as the ghost investigators search the house's interior. So what's going inside this house? Is it haunted? The hat man phenomena is often a recurring one for many people, from childhood to adulthood. Some believe shadow people are evil, like physical medium Amy Allen, who thinks they are interdimensional entities. Although the hat man and the shadow person might seem one and the same, they do indeed appear to be two separate entities. If you see a hat man, consider your family dynamics and the energy of your relationships. Does this video make you believe in hat men and shadow figures? If so, don't turn around. If you're going to cage a phantom, you're going to need a bigger door. Hosted by Wo Cuyahoga, this footage shows you can't keep a ghost locked up. The hunters are holding an EMF meter toward a locked set of doors. After a moment, something pounds against the door and then rattles it, trying to get out. I'm not sure what the context of this video is, but one thing's certain, whatever's inside is not staying there. Do the spirits of the past on linger where they took their last breath on earth? They might, as this video from YouTuber Terror Latente suggests. A hospital worker wanders around the empty corridors of a hospital. When they capture a glimpse of something while rounding a corner, watch closely. Did you see her? Here is the footage again slowed down. There is definitely a figure there, and when the camera pans back moments later, she's gone. This capture really gives me the chills. I feel this is a genuine ghost, a spirit whose life ended here in this hospital. What do you think? YouTuber Darklife says this was the worst EHF find he's ever discovered in an abandoned house. Dennis explains that he didn't bring his tent so he won't be spending the night. Later inside, a spirit confirms that she is there. The spirit says that she remembers her relatives.
As Dennis is standing in the dark, he accidentally steps on a hornet's nest. Papa. Yeah, Papa. He leaves a camera down there instead, so as not to be stung, but something spins his camera around. I don't know what did that, but it was not a hornet. Nothing like a good legend to call up some creepy videos. Posted by YouTuber Leonardo Martinez in January of 2016. The video is entitled, El Pombero, and El Dorado, Missone's Real. What is El Pombero? According to Latin American legend, the mythological gnome-like figure is rife in the Paraguayan forest, but can be found across southern Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay. Pombero is mainly seen at night in rural areas and forests. Holding up in sheds and abandoned structures, he likes to mimic bird sounds, and the inexplicable chirping of birds is said to indicate that Pombero is near. If anyone so much as speaks Pombero's name out loud, he will harass them. Now that you know the myth, let's take a look at this video, which claims to have caught live action footage of the creature. Filmed in the forest, a group of folks are wandering through the trees when, off to the side, something that looks like a short stump starts to move. The figure hobbles in an uncanny way, leaning on a crutch. Needless to say, the people rush off in fear. It certainly looks jarring and uncannily real. If you live in Paraguay, I guess it's time to hide. You don't want to cross pass with this mischief maker. A ghost investigating TikTok account called Gateway Paranormal TN experiences brief success when they detect the frame of a ghost standing on the table next to them. Go walk on the other side of the desk. But the ghost disappears when he tries to get closer. What's especially odd about this video is how the ghost seems to briefly lean forward, as if trying to resist him, and then gets bumped out of the frame. I was thinking this looked too small to be a ghost, but when compared to the wireframe of one of the ghost investigators, it seems to be in normal proportion. Whether it's a real ghost or just a computer error, they aren't able to recreate it, so it might have been a once in a lifetime occurrence to which we'll never get the true answer. It's gone. A man is all by himself when he hears a wild animal tearing through his home. Eventually, he corners it in the bathroom and cautiously enters with a camera. This is what he records moments before running away to call the police. A wide-eyed humanoid slowly straightens out while eyeing him with a calm expression. Like the uploader says, it's hard to tell if this was a human or not, and everything from genetic experiments to the rake has been suggested in the comments. Is this video real? And if so, what do you think it was? YouTube team Amitav Paranormal Tech YT explore this abandoned place when they capture a spirit manifesting on camera. Upon entering, they hear a banging sound. This is followed by a door closing. More racket is heard as the REM pod goes off. As they stand in the darkness, the banging continues. Not long after, a spirit manifests on this infrared camera. The cameraman leaves the cell, and when he tries to re-enter, he finds he's no longer welcome. Hey! 
fechou a porta. Fechou a porta. In fact, no one is welcome. When they do not leave, the spirit doesn't let up. It has one last scare for the crew, and this one sends them packing. I'll be honest, I'm not sure how they stuck around this long. This place is certainly haunted, and they're lucky to make it out alive. A YouTuber named Vision Quest Outdoors is exploring the Gettysburg field when he has what he believes is a real video of a ghost sighting. The video is pretty scary and I think he could be right. Let's take a look at the paranormal evidence and try to figure out what it was he and his friends say on that night. What is that? No way there's a guy out here at 2 a.m. According to the uploader, they turned around only to find the figure had mysteriously disappeared. This is the footage from when they turned around, but unfortunately it's too dark to make out very much one way or another. I believe what he says is true because if I'm not mistaken, this footage is from the same location during the day. There are cannons lined up here, but no statue whatsoever. If this was the same location, then this definitely has to be a real ghost sighting caught on video. This couple is dedicated to, as their description states, the search of paranormal activity in places with terrifying histories, as is sometimes possible when investigating. Ghosts have followed investigators to their homes, and they believe someone they made contact with on a previous investigation did just that. On January 21st, 2021, they hosted a live stream to document what they believed was a haunting in their home. Hoping to document evidence and find answers, they invited the public to join on their session. The first half of the investigation seems to produce little results, but something rather disturbing appears as they venture down the stairs. Through a glazed window overlooks the stairs, the figure of a woman can be seen staring towards the camera. At first glance, it can be easily mistaken for a painting, but when inspecting it closer, you can see there is actual 3D depth to it, something a painting would be impossible to have. The figure looks either like a woman with long dark hair or someone wearing a robe. To further prove it is not a painting, the same window is shown a few minutes later and the figure is gone. Furthermore, they venture outside to show the other side and it is several feet above the ground, making it impossible for anyone to get up there without a ladder. Nothing around the window resembles the figure as it has simply vanished. As they descend further down the stairs, an orb can be seen flying fast across the top left corner of the screen. Once they reach the bottom step, a loud, low exhale can be heard. The sound is too low pitched to be either of the couple, as we could hear them breathe beforehand and it doesn't match. It is also possible it was the sound of something sliding, although we cannot see what or if anything moves. Unfortunately, the remainder of the video becomes uneventful and other apparent orbs can be easily explained. For example, while they are filming a mirror, a glowing orb-like spectacle can be seen flying around. 
However, when the camera's light is turned off, it disappears, meaning it was simply a glare from the light itself. It's terrifying to imagine something becoming attached to you and following you back to your home. It's one of the risks when going on investigations, meaning it is not for the faint of heart. It also shows how there are more than just the physical dangers on these adventures, with even professional investigators such as Ghost Adventures suffering from severe states of paranormal oppression and even possession. It goes as a warning for those who decide to take up the cause for themselves. Take heed and be aware of what you are getting into, even if you are a skeptic or non-believer. Respect the locations you are visiting. Some videos are so terrifying that you may catch yourself holding your breath. Ryan Layton records what he says is a full-bodied apparition jumping over the table in his apartment. At two minutes, there is a loud noise and some kind of pale, ghost-like figure appears in front of the camera. But is it paranormal or something else is the question. The webcam is low quality and skipping frames, so this could simply be somebody shining a flashlight directly at it to create the illusion of a ghost. Let me know what you make of this video, because to me it's kind of hard to tell if this video is supernatural or nothing special. This family is getting no sleep. TikToker Paranormal Replay shares this scary video whose original source is YouTuber Ama Media Channel. A mother and her children are sleeping on the floor when this happens. The lady moves the toy, as though she's used to these types of strange occurrences, but not long after, it starts to move again. and then an object is flung from the sink. <coughs> that one finally scares her awake, but as she's just settling back in, she hears this. What sounds like a hair dryer wakes her up again, but the next disturbance wakes them all. Did you see it? At the end, peering around the corner. Is the ring girl behind it all? Whatever it is, I won't be going back to sleep tonight. This old VHS tape of a girl dancing is definitely paranormal. At least if you believe what the uploader Sharon Bailey has to say. First an orb floats up towards the child between the 13 and 14 second mark. Shortly afterwards, a strange mist fills the air. Maybe it's something else, but I'm not sure because it seems to specifically wrap itself around the child. The last part is what has Sharon convinced that this is paranormal. 
She says that there were no other children in the house, but 31 seconds into the video, another little girl runs by at full speed. Her footsteps don't make a single sound. Take a listen. The camera was picking up little coughs and other background noise, so it definitely should have recorded running footsteps. Also, neither the dancing girl nor the dog seem to notice anyone is running straight towards them. Move over, Cujo. This real life pet cemetery is even scarier than the book. Posted to YouTuber by Adventures with Christian in October of 2018, the uploader provides a bit of historical background to the scene of this haunting video. According to him, this unofficial pet cemetery in Boulder City is the most haunted in the world. Why? He writes, Many people claim that there are mafia victims secretly buried there, other than the names on the headstones, which may have faded away. There is no record of the animals buried there. The YouTuber visits the pet cemetery at night. When it's at its creepiest, at the entrance is a sign noting that pet burials are prohibited there. According to him, the pet cemetery opened in 1931, located 20 miles from Vegas. It's potentially a mobster's paradise. In the 25-minute video, Christian explores the graveyard, looking for all elusive ghosts of animals and people alike. About 20 minutes in, he comes across a dugout grave. You can see the corner of a wooden coffin inside. About 22 minutes in, he hears something in the cemetery, although what it is isn't caught on camera. What in the world? What? 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 Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. What in the world? Oh. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh my gosh. That's it. I'm done. He says he's done and hightails it out of there. The camera then captures a hooded man walking past, right in the line of the flashlight, prompting him to really hurry. It's later revealed that the cameraman was just a character, but that doesn't make this place any less creepy. Currently, pets are laid to rest in this cemetery, including that of the famous film star dog Rin Tin Tin. If you'd like to lay flowers on his grave, this video is a cautionary tale. Don't do it at night. Jinn are intelligent spirits from Arabian mythology that have the mysterious ability to possess humans. And according to this video, they take that mysterious ability to the next level, which is apparently ninja based. Published to YouTube by Deranged Sajib in September of 2020, the scary possession has this man's limbs into something like a crab. <coughs> The man is captured on video doing a creepy crab walk backwards and forwards across the floor as a holy man stands over him, attempting to exercise him of the jinn. The man keeps low to the ground, smacking his palms to the floor with his fingers bent upwards. He speaks to the holy man in a haunting, possessed rasp. <laughs> Although the clip cuts out before we can see whether the man was freed of his possession, many in the comments note that the spirit who possessed him seemed like a ninja jinn. Well, I don't know about that. If it was the case, though, the man is acquiring these skills, even if only via a spirit taking over his body. Who's hiding behind this mirror? This short clip posted by TikToker, Sion Wick prompts that question. Watch it snap this Pokemon card up. The TikToker writes, we're waiting for it to trade us back. In the comments, Reed Hart points out the black fingers at the mirror's edge at the beginning of the clip. Take another look. They look more like spider legs than fingers to me. But if that's the case, this guy's got a mad strong spider on his hands. A strange creature sighting was caught on camera, moving fast along the Powell River in BC, Canada. 
The unknown creature was seen by many, but only one witness, a man named Oscar, was fast enough to have captured video evidence of one of the scariest moments of his life. He fully admits what he saw on the lake haunts him to this day. He saw it coming from half a mile away, a mysterious figure moving fast underwater. He says by the time he ran into his RV camper for a camera and came back, it was already moving past him so he only caught but a few mysterious and unexplained moments on video. On one hand, this does look like something strange and mysterious slithering just beneath the water's surface, like a gigantic sea snake. On the other hand, this video looks like something getting pulled by a boat, a tow line perhaps. The fact that you only see the last 17 seconds is kind of suspicious, but would make sense if he had to run and get a camera. It all depends on how much you believe him. Oscar goes on to explain that this lake is 1,200 feet deep in some areas and was once connected to vast, ancient glaciers where deep sea channels could have once led to mysterious and unknown creatures. Perhaps this unexplained video is one of these deep sea creatures coming up for a visit. It sounds like an interesting legend, but I think I would need more video evidence than this to fully believe it. And trust me, if I find more videos about the monster of Powell Lake, I will be sure to analyze them. In the meantime, tell me what you think of his bizarre sighting, especially if you have any idea what this unexplained video could be. This toy is supposed to sing the alphabet, but according to the description, it startles children with a deep voice instead. Even if this is happening just because the batteries are low, what's especially weird is the timing. This toy always seems to malfunction just before the last letter of the alphabet. Listen to this part and tell me if you hear a deep voice saying something like, hey. The Sonora Inn was built in 1896 and is infamously haunted by many a spirit. Thomas writes that he worked night shift there in 2018. As he was setting up for breakfast at 5 a.m., this is what was captured on security camera. Watch the bowl he places on the counter in the top right corner. Let's see it again. Do you believe in this dining room poltergeist? I feel it might be a case of the wet surface of the bowl acting as a lubricant. After all, he did say it was a bowl of ice, but that's just my theory. What do you think? A YouTuber named Dillionaire Vlogs is trying his hardest to summon a ghost, and he won't take no for an answer. First, he tries to command the supernatural by force, then he makes fun of them and does whatever else he can think of to get any kind of reaction. Where are the demons at, man? This was taken in 2017 during Irma, and Dillionaire hopes that the electrified atmosphere will somehow help the spirit world connect with his own. Apparently, it works. The camera falls over by itself, and a voice that sounds like Dillionaire clearly says, I'm here. Hello? Anyone here? Dillionaire claims that he was possessed during this part, and made to say this against his will, though I'm not so sure about that. Then again, 134 people lost their lives during Irma, so it wouldn't really surprise me if one of them really did use his body as a conduit to say hello. Up a long forest mountain path is an abandoned house near the Chinese city of Chengdu that is said to be haunted. An explorer named the Seizing Monkey travels to the fabled house to see if anything paranormal is there. There's not much left inside, but he does find an old book that he seems particularly interested in. At 2 minutes and 6 seconds, it almost looks like it gets slapped out of his hands by a possible ghost, but he could have dropped it too. 
Tell me what these pages say. For some reason, he seems to feel it's interesting enough to show the camera. Not much else happens, and just when I was doubting this house was haunted, I hear this. He's looking in some kind of fire pit or something and hears a noise. He looks up and hears it again coming from the attic. He doesn't stick around for long and wisely decides to leave. This submission comes from my new subreddit, where you can post whatever bizarre things you come across in your everyday life. It's reddit.com slash r slash chills narrator if you want to check it out. Lost Cosmonaut 01 says that he has been dealing with paranormal stuff ever since he was a child. Apparently, spirits have always taken an interest in him. Anyway, he lives alone, and one night, he managed to take a picture of this possible ghost sighting in his basement. What interests me is that this streak of light highly resembles whatever was shown in number 4. If anyone has an explanation besides the paranormal as to how this could have been caused, then please let me know and be sure to keep your submissions coming. A man follows his girlfriend everywhere with a camera to annoy her because he thinks it's funny. He was never expecting to have caught the scariest moment of his life on tape instead. A fully clothed figure reaches out for him after his girlfriend has left the room. When he pulls back the curtain, it's mysteriously gone. The paranormal moment looks scary, but I think there's a strong chance it's scripted. 38 seconds is when there could have been a jump cut. A jump cut is when they stopped recording, let the actress out of the shower, and start recording again to make it look like no one is there. Also, at 42 seconds, it doesn't look like the shower is on. Beware of where the Randonautica app may lead. Published a TikTok by Haley AIG in August of 2020. The app led this unfortunate group into a forest, and they weren't alone. Haley explains that the app took them to a park in the middle of nowhere. As the camera pans around, she notes that they've only seen trees so far, but they seem to have missed this figure poking its head out from behind one of those trees. As they wander across a wooden bridge, this forlorn, dark-haired figure dressed in black crosses the path at the end of a dirt road. The girls wander on and all you can see is the ground for a moment as they wonder if they're being followed and then it's clear that they are. While many TikTokers are loving this, Austin Payton writes, I may or may not have fallen off of my bed, while others claim that their souls left their bodies and they threw their phones across the room. Haley writes, I deleted the Randonautica app after. That's probably for the best. When you're driving home exhausted at the end of the long day, stay conscious and keep your eyes peeled. You might just see this. This supernatural clip was posted in April of 2020, claiming it's a real sighting on a haunted roadside. So let's take a look and see for ourselves. The clip shows someone driving down a dirt road in the near darkness. As they turn a corner, a dark figure barely visible can be seen crossing the path. On closer inspection, the figure looks long-limbed and big-eyed with a strangely shaped skull. It crosses slowly before sitting down at the side of the road. If human, what is this strange behavior? If not, any theories as to what this creature might be? Whether paranormal or some earthly figure, running into this near dusk might be enough to end your life. If you saw this on your home security camera, what would you think? According to Johnny Smither333, who posted the video to the ghost subreddit, the strange capture came from his living room's motion detection camera. Whatever this flash is had enough presence to set off the camera, but it's unclear what that blur might be. While many in the comments say it's a bug, others like SPM Wiggy offers more creative suggestions. She writes, It's a tiny witch on a matchstick 
Clearly, you can see the hat and the giant witch nose. Another Redditor suggests that it could be gremlins. The Redditor says that in slow motion, it looks like it appeared out of thin air. He also notes that as soon as it gets closer to the camera, it doesn't look like any bug he's seen. Have you seen a bug that looks like this? I know that's likely the culprit in cases of videos like this, but I definitely agree. I've never seen a bug that looks like this before. Therefore, there is at least a reasonable chance this is truly paranormal. YouTuber Lomar Mendez was locked in this terrifying poltergeist pillar with his partner, and they were not alone. As they ascend the stairs, they hear an unexplained sound. To me, it sounds like a whale. Then they hear a child. I swear to God, I swear to a child. A child? Yeah. A kid. Johnson. A kid just like bah. I'm not even joking like just now. While I didn't hear the child, the sound could have been muted by the team's ascent. The echoing of the tower makes things difficult to distinguish, but I definitely heard this next sound. Can you appear to us? But the creepiest part is yet to come. Listen closely. Hello? It's difficult to tell where the screams are coming from. Are they outside or within the tower? Nothing is clear, but in my opinion, there is definitely something unnerving about this place. And if they are indeed communing with the child ghost, then it sounds like he is in agony and needs their help. Vincenzo Man Pro has a problem in his backyard that won't go away. A creepy tree creature that he has been unable to identify before or since. It faces away at first. Its broad back turned to him. At the one minute mark, it stretches its arms and legs and looks vaguely humanoid. Watch for yourself. Oh, you must stop moving, no. Oh. As time passes by, it seems to crouch into a hostile stance. Here it kind of looks like it's on all fours with its head held very low, quite similar to videos I've seen about the rake creature. I think that it could be a monkey if he lives anywhere near the equator. Its fur color is pretty strange for one though. The sun is setting but the camera has no problem picking up its bluish white hue in the low light. Then it fades away from sight, possibly hiding out of fear, but also possibly following this man. It remains silent the whole time and the way it slinks away makes him wary enough to retreat inside. <laughs> No, 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 no. Ma che cazzo è? I don't know how much danger he was in just now, but I respect his decision not to stick around and find out. A kid is checking out his loose tooth in the mirror when his reflection appears to move away before he does. It happens in a split second, so you have to look closely to see it. Maybe it's just the angle, but the reflection really does appear to lean away while the child himself remains stationary. Everything from an optical illusion to a haunted mirror has been proposed with no concrete answer. So if you know the proper explanation, then be sure to let me know. The quality of this Brazilian coast video is not very good, but it does show something huge apparently lurking under the surface during a rescue mission. A massive dark object silently moves behind the distressed swimmer and the coast guardsman who is saving him. The shark looks like it could easily match a submarine in length and width. The video ends before we get to see if the shark surfaces or not. I guess this possible megalodon shark sighting could be special effects, or else just the result of very low resolution. Let me know if you think this is a real megalodon shark, or if it is just too grainy for you to tell. A TikToker named Sydney Carpenter is convinced that her Snapchat filter is detecting not one, but two nearby faces. 
I don't think anything on this table or wall looks like a face, so I don't think it's a glitch. She tells it to stick its tongue out if it can hear her, and it does after a moment's hesitation. I don't think it's a coincidence, but watch this part for yourself and tell me. Stick your tongues out if you can see me. Do a bit. Yo, there's two of them. <gasps> Later on, it appears in a totally different place than last time. Like before, the Dalmatian appears to give the answer that yes, it is in fact up to no good. Are you good? Are you bad? She starts speaking to the remaining dog, and upon being asked if it was good, it disappears instantly. Are you good? Disappeared. Which I guess stands for no. There's just way too many strange interactions like this one that makes sense for me to ignore. There's more to this selfie than what meets the eye. Posted to TikTok, Dita and her friends pose for pictures, but someone else sneaks into the last shot. In the background, a girl is seen peering through a crack in the door. In other frames, she is not there, but then again she appears peeking around the corner. Is this just someone who wants to be included? Or is this a ghost phantom photobombing? I apologize for the poor quality of this video, but the backstory is too good to pass up. The Newcastle High School in Indiana received a notification from their security company that something weird was going on. So they looked at the CCTV videos to see exactly what the problem was. See here, the lights are off in the choir room. I'm actually freaking out right now. Thank you. The power goes out. Oh my gosh, okay. this is scaring me. So I'm thinking that the power going off is weird enough, but look what happens when it comes back on. The lights are on. What the? Do you see that? The light came on. Shut I'm no electrician, but if the lights in the other room were off before the power outage, then they shouldn't come back on unless someone was in the room to mess with the switch. But as far as anyone knows, it was late at night and the school was empty, so I don't know how this could be. This man claims he can make a wooden match stick pass through a silver watch using nothing but sheer will. He focuses deeply for a moment and then proves it can be done. Full solid. Through solid dust. I'm almost positive that this is sleight of hand, but I'm not sure. I don't see cuts in editing, and it really does look like it was done in one smooth take. If someone can please tell me how he does this, real or not, I would greatly appreciate the help. A YouTuber named D Edge detects strange activity in his hallway after leaving his PS4 camera on record. This small figure appears no less than two times, despite the apartment being empty, at least according to the uploader. 20 seconds later, the figure makes its second entrance, hanging around the top of the doorway each time before disappearing into the darkness. I was thinking that maybe this was light coming from the window across the room, but the angle doesn't exactly match up. Something is definitely there, but let me know what you think it could be. Experts have yet to debunk a YouTube channel claiming to break the very boundaries of space and time. The channel features no less than eight videos taking place over the course of a year, which focus on a strange glowing device. The device apparently uses different tones and frequencies to experiment with interdimensional travel. Here you can see the first real signs of success from a video in 2017. There's the fracture. Some sort of molecular rift opens between his very eyes and looks very convincing. The rift appears to move very realistically with the camera and does not look to be CGI. After a few months of research and careful adjustments, he finally figures out the correct combination of frequencies to open the rift wider than ever before. Again, nothing about this looks like CGI to me. The way the rift moves with the camera would have been very hard to digitize frame by frame in my opinion, especially when the camera goes out of focus at the 1 minute 50 second mark. 
Soon the edges of the rift grow thin and another world emerges. If this video is to be believed, then what you could be staring into is an alternate timeline of our own world. So far, video editing experts have yet to disprove this video, so let me know if you think it's fake or real based on what you've seen here. There's something unnatural in this yard. Can you tell what it is? Published by Ghost Chanel in April of 2022, you can see a white object moving in the darkness. The object is a little figure. The figure's arms reaches out and then this happens. Reaching out his arms moves the cart back. After moving it back again, the ghost disappears from view, only to reappear on the other side of the cart. A moment later, he is sleeping on it. Are these phantom powers being used for good or evil? They seem to be just for fun. On 3830 McMahon Road sits a lone white house which at first glance looks rather unassuming, but is actually a source of otherworldly evil. A place so foul that not even two separate exorcisms could fully cleanse its walls. Over 800 Native Americans are said to have lost their lives in the surrounding hills against federal forces, many of whom are thought to be buried under the Hinsdale House, fueling its foundations with anger. And that's just the beginning. Sometime in the 1800s, two outlaw brothers used this New York property as their sick trophy room. They would go after stagecoaches and left behind no witnesses. The bodies were mostly kept in the attic or left in the basement without a care. Outside, more lives were taken over the years at a pond and also at an old tree at just the right height for a rope, which was later struck by lightning. Nowadays, the heavily haunted Hinsdale House has become a location for ghost hunters like John and Amanda of Elevated Vlogs to explore whatever secrets lie within. John and Amanda are amateur ghost hunters without much paranormal experience, so their reactions are about as raw as it gets. Their night begins with a tour from the house's current owner, a man named Daniel Clays, who spared this house from getting demolished in 2015. He seems to have formed a truce with the spirits in return for saving them. The way he talks about his experiences, the more activity their camera catches around him. There's definitely something that's sinister, maybe darker, that comes out once in a while. But you, your best thing is to just ignore it and move on and go do something else. We were just standing in the kitchen and we had a camera on ourselves and, and uh, they were talking about the exorcism this, exorcism that. And Daniel leaves them to explore the house on their own. And just kind of do a little explore before we sit down anywhere and... Did you hear that? They also hear this noise, the sound someone makes with a hand over their mouth. But he said he has experienced somewhat of a something dark here. Experience, experience. They enter the room of Mary Dandy, the youngest daughter of a family who lived here during the 1970s, and find bugs on their backs, legs up an odd characteristic that the room has become known for. An entity has attached itself here, something foul enough to attract flies and send them lifelessly to the floor without its presence. Or maybe these flies were placed here by Daniel to fool John and Amanda. Either way, the activity only seems to increase ever since standing in Mary's room. I think something runs ahead of them down the stairs into the basement. Maybe the final steps of someone trying to get away during a terrible event. Most people that check this place out will come with a team. Oh yeah, I'll go down first so you can show them this really cool... Did you hear that? What was that? And when they try to communicate with it, a scared little girl's voice comes across the airwaves. Are you okay with us staying here tonight? They decide to head back into Mary's room. Again, their spirit box picks up the same crying girl as before. Are you okay with us being in this room? Can we sit here? And this is the third time they pick up her voice. Definitely the same girl the whole time. 
Are we safe? She's following them from room to room, and maybe behind her is the sinister force that Daniel warned them to stay away from. They decided to check out the attic before they get too scared. Remember what I said about the attic earlier? Sure enough, John feels a strong hand wrap his arm to pull him forward, followed by a supernatural confirmation from a gruff male voice. Dude, I'm not even playing, man. Did someone touch John's arm? Like, no lie, it felt like there was just something ra like a, a, a Dude, that sounded like, yeah. They flee downstairs to regroup and find they can no longer leave. Something's outside. John. Oh my I god. I literally heard something outside. I'm not even messing around. Dude. Did you hear that, dude? No, I know. It sounded like metal ting. I don't hear it, but I do see it. Look again, it's a ghost caught on live stream. And even though I didn't hear it earlier, I do hear chains rattling during this part when they get closer to the door. What's that noise? There's nothing left to do but wait it out in the Hinsdale house. After a night of fitful sleep, they decide to explore the hillside before getting out of there fast. They're still afraid from yesterday's events, but it's their job as paranormal investigators to keep going no matter what. So with their spirit box out, they wander into the woods. Within minutes, they record a voice. I hear three words. I need help. Then they hear a familiar voice, the same one responsible for grabbing John's arm in the attic. We're coming into the darker part of the woods here. Would somebody like to speak with us? Oh. oh. Yep. That was definitely a male voice. And this part is either Amanda's voice edited in, or else somebody is humming a creepy tune right next to John. <laughs> The forest is dark and cold. I agree with John that this is a different language. We're in the middle of the woods. There's no, there's no uh, electrical. Dis they come to a part of the woods that's particularly eerie for no reason at all. It's just a feeling they both have. That's when they realize the reason for their fears could not be directly underfoot. Did you die here? The thought of communicating with the other side has always made me uneasy, but speaking with someone while standing on their unmarked grave, as elevated vlogs seem to have done, takes that uneasiness to a whole other level. Woke Cuyahoga official are being stalked by a mysterious being in the darkness. They first capture this figure as they walk toward the haunted place. Still, they do not leave. They continue exploring. They then hear some creepy noises around them. And then they see it. It is like the figure is taunting them. And it all comes to a head. What does it want from them? It seems to appear and disappear repeatedly. 
only to appear again in the end. What is this figure? And what does this all mean? Only the devil knows. Which is why this is one scary video they tried to hide from us. YouTuber Ali H was told by a shaman that the demon in his home is feeding on him. Literally. Hey, like, what the f um. Emma's just... Emma's, Emma's checked out. She's confused as f He explains that he told the shaman about these bites. And she said that it's really, really bad. Like, that is essentially me leave like th that's whatever is here is feeding on me is what she said and whatever is feeding on him is also physically strong watch what happens that's what the f The demon threw down an over 200 pound weight. It also apparently punched the punching bag. Like many in the comments, I agree that something is attached to Ali and is getting aggressive with him. To me, its energy seems too strong and dangerous to ignore. Sometimes it's better to be blissfully ignorant. Published by Nurk7 to the Ghost subreddit. The girls in this video heard a bump in the night, so they soon head down into the basement to investigate. When they arrive there, another thud clunks in the darkness, and as they nope right out of there, a whining sound groans as they run up the stairs. <coughs> well, some note that their reaction seems genuine, Noob Vin again pops into this thread. The Redditor who offered a rational explanation to the ring doorbell entry footage to drop some more practicality, saying the sound seems more like a hinge or some other artificial noise. Well, this whining sound might be explained away. What of the obvious thud? Is there a ghost dropping a bowling ball down here? Ksosa37 posted this spooky video of her dog in 2017. In the description of the video, she wrote, they always say animals can see spirits. My dog was barking at nothing in the room. She wasn't looking at the TV screen. And you can see her move her head suddenly at the 9 second mark. At first, it appears as though the dog is perhaps barking at her own reflection in the television in front of her, but it becomes clear that the dog is looking at something to the right of the TV. And then, as the YouTuber noted, the dog jerks its head suddenly and jumps up, looking above the television. She starts growling and barking more as she gazes upwards. The camera scans where she is looking off to the side of the room, and there's absolutely nothing there. The dog then gets up from its seated position, continuing to growl and bark, and looking still at a spot to the right of the TV. The dog is acting aggressively and defensively, and although her owner remains calm and asks the dog what's wrong, only she seems to know that something is very wrong. What is she seeing in the void? Something weird has been going in and out of the McGolfin Middle School in El Paso, Texas late at night, and this superintendent appears to have caught it on tape. Okay, so you're looking at this white thing right there. I have no idea what it is. Dude, that just, that just came out of the boys' restroom. This right here. Isn't that basketball apparently haunted too? A small white object darts from the hall into the restroom. It's a very odd shape, and I can't tell if it walks on two legs or four, or maybe it's even floating. I think it could just be a raccoon, but if this is a curious animal and not a spirit, then shouldn't it be more interested in the cafeteria or some location with food? One of the students mentions that both bathrooms on this floor are rumored to be haunted, so there's definitely a chance that this is a real ghost caught on school CCTV. If anyone goes to the school, please verify that these rumors are true or not. Warning, once you watch this entry, you'll be itching all over. This video was shared on YouTube by Town & Country Pest Solutions Incorporated in January of 2011. It shows a bed bug infestation in Syracuse, New York. The video challenges viewers to watch the entire thing, but honestly, it's so disgusting that you can't look away from it. 
The crew said they didn't even have to inspect for these bed bugs, as it's one of the biggest infestations they've ever seen. They show the bugs on the curtains, on the bedspread, and then the place they love the most, the mattress. Apparently, whoever was residing here never once called to report a bed bug problem. One of the crew says that evidence suggests this infestation has been going on for months. There are tons of stains on the mattress as well, from where the parasites gnawed the residents. They lift the sheet to find bed bugs crawling all over the bottom side. The infant station reaches every corner of the room, including where the ceilings meets the wall. Bed bugs are nestled up in the crevice. They pull a picture frame off the wall to find more bugs crawling on the backside. They appear in singles and in clusters. When they lift the mattress off the bed, you can see bugs scattering all over the bed spring platform. There are so many on the edge of the mattress that the colony has eaten away at the fabric, and apparently they also stink according to the crew. One of them says their dogs are usually trained to smell the bed bugs to search out the infant station, but this one is so bad that even humans can smell it. It's so creepy you can't look away. You can particularly feel them on you now, can't you? I did warn you. NASA scientists are in the middle of conducting a nine-hour space experiment when this strangely haunting static fills their ears. NASA experts describe the noise only as complex signals. They think it could be anything from equipment vibrations to gravity waves, but I think it sounds like it could be some radio signal from another galaxy. Many believe that some kind of life form was trying to contact us, and I agree that's a definite possibility, especially considering the sound was only heard for a single minute and never again. Either way, the mysterious sound you've just heard was recorded in 2014 and has been baffling experts ever since. No clear explanation has ever been provided, so I'd like to get yours if possible. What is going on in this neighborhood parking lot? Ben Lewis shared this mysterious security footage to Facebook, which appears to show a semi-transparent child figure watch against the house in the center. A moment later, this happens. Did you see the building's light come on? I agree with many in the comments that say it looks like the child ghost is skateboarding. And apparently, the place is said to be haunted by a child ghost named Emily. So I believe this is an open and shut case. This dog's owner says it can see a ghost in the same hallway that they are in. It's okay. Her dog is definitely looking at something it doesn't want to go near at all. It keeps a wide distance and absolutely refuses to go past this line. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Listen, when your full-grown dog is barking nervously and actually backing towards the door to get away, it's time to get the heck out of that room yourself. But at 36 seconds, the dog does kind of look over to a framed picture on the wall. Maybe it saw its own reflection in the surface and started freaking out. But that's just my guess. Heads up, it's watching. Posted to the ghost subreddit by Nimrose, something demonic is peeking out from behind this tree. A woman is walking down a forest path at night in Sweden, but she doesn't notice that she's not alone. Look to the right of the tree. A creepy, long-haired, demon-like figure peeks out for a split second before hiding itself again. I'm surprised it didn't snatch her when she walked past. Some in the comments are saying it was Krampus, the terrifying horned Christmas demon from European folklore. Others think it's a person in a mask. Still, others are more distracted by the eyes that pop out at the base of the tree at nearly the same time as the demon. Well, that can be explained away as a raccoon or other animal. What about the demon person? Any theories? 
who is standing at the end of the hallway. Published by Find Ghost in December of 2021, this short clip captures a ghost girl on camera in a haunted home. As ghost hunters are searching around this room, the camera pans around. Look closely at the end of the hallway. A creepy figure can be seen standing there with long white hair and a darkened face. When the cameraman pans back a moment later, the figure is gone. Would you leave? The caption says, I'm already gone. This video shows you never know what you might encounter next in the desert. Haley Steele was at Burning Man 2012 in Black Rock City, Nevada, when a massive dust devil formed right in front of her very eyes. Oh, here it comes. Oh, that kid's gonna ride right through it. Amazingly, you can see someone casually riding their bike as the massive cloud of dust surrounds him. If this was happening in front of me, I'd be hightailing it out of there. The last thing I want is dust in my eyes, ears, and nose. Barrett Rod suspending the day kayak fishing when a terrifying creature suddenly takes flight above water. At first, it just sits on the surface and then it makes its move. The bizarre creature is larger than Barrett's arm. It has a snake-like body, a large hole for a mouth, and two elongated fins that look very sharp to the touch. At 8 seconds into the video, Barrett raises his hands in surprise, but I doubt it would have been enough to protect him. Fortunately, the animal changes its trajectory at the last second and silently sinks back into the water. I guess it must have bitten through the fishing line. This scary video captured an inhuman humanoid figure lurking over a human habitat and it has been trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. Taken in someone's backyard, you first see a pool with trees beyond. It looks as though the cameraman is searching for something in the foliage. He then turns to the roof of the home. The roof at first seems to be empty, but when the cameraman turns completely to the right, this terrifying figure is spotted. Its fleshy skin is a raw, sunburnt pink. Its limbs are somewhat elongated. Its shoulders are hunchbacked, and its pinhead is on a neck that's uncannily long. The creepiest part of it is that the figure is looking right at him. It stays still for a second, its eyes glowing as it watches the unsuspecting cameraman before leaping with cat-like reflexes over the other side of the roof and out of sight. If this footage is real, then I have no idea what this thing possibly was. Amy Admin wonders if an actual apparition was caught on home security camera haunting her place. Her strange sighting happened at 7 in the morning. A vaguely human-shaped figure walks to the curb and mysteriously disappears. Some scary stuff is going on across the street from her house. Or is it? Perhaps it is a reflection of a car hitting the brakes. The alleged apparition does seem to come and go with the appearance of a car. The only problem with this theory is that there's nothing here for the brake lights to reflect off of. Maybe a piece of glass on the ground or something. So what's been caught on tape? Paranormal activity or a trick of light? I don't know and now I'm as creeped out as Amy Admin is. After hearing rumors about satanic rituals being performed at the domes of the Casa Grande, YouTube team Twin Paranormal head into Diablo's desert. While standing there on the cursed land, they hear footsteps. What was that? You didn't hear that? That's literally right there. It was like walking or a step or something being thrown. It's kind of hard to tell when you're in. Then they hear a scraping sound. Please? There it is again. We hear you. One of the team's REM pods goes off, followed closely by another metallic scraping sound. Whoa! That's a full grab. Whoa. Whoa, battery dead. This is brand new, guys. That's probably what was going on, dude. There's no source of like electricity or energy, but then again, there is a giant power junction right over there. More noise is heard, and it feels like someone is standing just out of sight in the darkness. Point that way, point that way. What is that? Show yourself. Show. 
They hear voices and then get a reading on their K2 meter. Did you guys just hear that voice? Dude, someone's out there. What do people come here to do? Do they come here to summon things? Can you give me a sign if that's correct? After hearing another distinct noise, Wyatt blacks out momentarily. I just got the gnarliest light. Dude, dude, bro. Did you hear that? Someone just walked right up to that. I just got so dizzy, so lightheaded. Oh, that was weird. Like Clapping in the domes is followed by a series of unexplained events. Can you give us a sign that you're still here? Physically. What? No. Did you just clap? Please don't clap. After seeing the crazy amount of activity in this former ritual site, I am positive that evil resides here. Whether human or ancient curse, though, I'm not. There's a scary cemetery in this Egyptian neighborhood that is said to be haunted only on the quietest of nights. Mustafa Nabil goes exploring the haunted place at an early hour with his friends. In front of the cemetery gate stands a tall and silent figure guarding the outside. They immediately cut the paranormal exploration short and just want to go home, but the mysterious figure is not going to let them off that easily. It seems like they are blocked at every turn. Something looks at them from around the corner and sends them running down random streets to get away. They are out of breath and about to slow down to regroup when they see the spirit has somehow teleported ahead of them and brought back up. They have to keep moving and stay out of sight. There are many winding alleyways to go through, but they feel constantly watched and far from safe as they are relentlessly followed down every path. At 8 minutes and 24 seconds, they think they are safe and finally slow down. None of them see a supernatural figure watching them from the shadows. The video ends, but it seems their paranormal plight is far from over. A piece of the graveyard has committed itself to following them home. This team is exploring the ranch of an alleged skinwalker. Published by KBC Cazadores de Fantasmas in April of 2022, the cameraman is quick to sense something lurking around them in the wilderness. Hey, hey, hey. Se escutaram? Com a voz. As they move on, they again sense something. Further along, they think they hear a sound and start to rush forward. Meu Deus. Still finding nothing at last, they arrive at these abandoned ruins. While inside the ruins, they hear a noise again outside. Later, back out in the wilderness, their EMF meter is triggered. Whose energy are they sensing here? Again, someone or something is in the vicinity. Is it the skinwalker? As day turns to night, paranoia kicks in. The legendary creature might be skulking anywhere in this forest. Should this team stick around to find out? I would have already been gone. What happens when a child opens his mom's Camaro car door in a Target parking lot and it accidentally dings a guy's car? Well, things escalated quickly, and that's what happens. At least if you run into this unfortunate lady. You said that he hit the car, didn't you? You said he hit the car, didn't you? I did. You did. Yeah. You did. So get on the phone and tell him that you said that he hit the car. Jay Rios published this video in September of 2016, writing Her son accidentally dings my car. No big deal, but after I inform her of what had happened and requested insurance info, 
She proceeds to deny what happened and resorts to verbally attacking my wife and I in front of her two kids and my boy. And that appears to be exactly what's happening in this video. The woman is seen storming all over the parking lot. As the man's wife is on the phone to the police, she's screaming in the background, they're lying. And Mr. Rand, she asks her son to show her where he hit the car. And after she wanders off, her son does admit, the door landed right here, while pointing out the dent on the man's car door. Jay Rios also updated the video descriptor to answer some questions for the audience. He tells us that despite the drama-filled six minutes of this video, the scene ended very anticlimactically. The cops arrived and gave him information on how to file a claim if need be at the auto body shop, but they didn't care about the video, even though he had a witness who confirmed that the crazy woman had struck him. He says he can't blame them, because the woman was still going off when they were there, and even resorted to telling the police off. After taking his vehicle to the shop a couple days later, the shop verified that the dent could be fixed with paintless dent repair for less than $100, a cost so low that he wasn't going to file a claim, especially since the woman's son told her the truth and she just didn't want to hear it. The YouTube team Greg and Heather's exploration know what fear is. They found it in the woods. As Heather is sitting near a campfire, she hears something unsettling nearby. What the heck? What was that noise? <gasps> she goes to investigate. Hello? Where is that coming from? Nobody answers, so she continues on. As she hears the sound again, she finally encounters its maker. There it goes again. Oh my Hello? What is this creature? What are you doing out here? Oh my Whatever it is, it's soon coming for her. Oh my Will she escape him? Where'd you go? It's almost creepier when he disappears. While the YouTuber explains in the description that this video is, in fact, fiction, the horror is real, and I think their monster is particularly chilling. Horrifying surveillance camera footage shows someone getting chased by a much bigger, much scarier person who slings them over their shoulder and drops them into a getaway vehicle. Police are calling this a suspicious incident because it looks more like it could be their last moments on Earth. They are in total fear for their life, so I don't think this is a family dispute. It's something way scarier than that. This video was taken in Akron, Ohio by two teenagers while driving past a cemetery on their work break. She's getting down there. A ghoulish, dark figure is surrounded by fresh dirt, as it apparently is digging up something in the cemetery, possibly its next meal. The stunned friends stop to watch it for a while longer before driving off and uploading the video later. They have no idea what it could be and neither do I. I was also unable to find any news stories of grave disturbances in Akron further making me believe this may not have happened. Then again, maybe this incident was buried by the local authorities for whatever reason. Either way, let me know if you think these friends really saw something, or if they are part of an internet hoax. This one's a little difficult to see, but when you do, the payoff is worth it. A YouTuber named Past is exploring an abandoned property in Nottingham. Pay attention to the very last window during this clip. Even then, I doubt you'll see it. 
Now here it is again with the paranormal sighting highlighted. Something very large appears to move quickly in the very last window, however this window leads outside and is two floors from the ground. With this in mind, what could this moving object be? Just outside your door is very rarely a good thing, especially when they're these two fools. Ring posted this creepy video to Facebook in 2017. The video shows two strange men knocking on the front door of a home. The homeowner away at work is able to check in and see the men, whom she doesn't know. When they notice her security camera, the pair suspiciously bolts away. They return to their vehicle and back out of the drive only to, a minute later, return, open the door, and literally try to kick it in. The homeowner, seeing their arrival from afar, attempts to speak to them over the security system, informing them that the cops are on their way. Oh, cops are on their way. After failing to kick the door in, the men return to their vehicle and hastily drive off again. Facebooker Stay Hodgkin notes that these two people wouldn't have been reprimanded for merely knocking, but then they decided to return when they knew a security camera was posted up and committed property damage. Not bright in the least. Ring relays a very satisfying conclusion to this video, writing, Although Kay was at work when these two visitors came by, she was able to share her Ring video with her neighbors online and ultimately confirm their identities. The information was passed along to the police, and they caught the guys. Now that's the perfect example of a neighborhood watch. This dirt road has its own security guard, published by Scary and Mysterious Stuff in February of 2021. A team faces off with a mysterious figure on a deserted road. As they drive in the middle of the night, wolves are howling all around. The atmosphere is unsettling. As they turn a corner and head down a hill, a figure in a black robe is captured up ahead in the headlights. Wearing a hood that blocks their face, the figure starts to slowly walk toward the vehicle, which backs up in response. The figure continues to approach the vehicle even after it's reversed far enough to not be a threat. While many in the comments are saying the figure was likely not a ghost, since it casts a shadow, others are calling the footage scary and dangerous regardless. If not a ghost, who is this person and what do they want? An urban exploration channel called JJ Retro is exploring an abandoned house on the edge of an English village late at night. You can tell he's nervous just standing at the entrance of this creepy estate. I'm just coming exploring somewhere like this because we're in the middle of nowhere um, on the outskirts of Slinfold at this rather creepy house and uh, there's a sort of haunted feel to it. Outside they find a spooky tree with a rope slung over the branch and a plank of wood to step off of. I don't think we need to spend much time explaining what kind of scary events happened here. And when they start exploring the inside, every room fills them with a renewed sense of dread. Yeah, this this is creepy. This is probably the creepiest building we've done so far in our urban exploring career. Ooh. They try to joke their way out of how scary this urban exploration is, but eventually they have to admit they are getting spooked by something paranormal in the house with them. Weird noises are coming from upstairs, or so they say, but to be honest, I don't hear anything. Okay, what the f is that noise? But as they slowly creep up the stairs, I can actually hear the weird sound, and that's when they get it. The creepy encounter caught on camera that they were all looking for. No. Hello? And that's when, with all of them on the steps, mind you, the urban explorers see a rocking chair moving on its own. Uh, no, it's not that. No, come on. <laughs> and that was the haunted house. 
haunted house here in Slingfold and with. Since part of the chair is hidden by the doorway, maybe somebody was off camera making the chair move. Otherwise, this place is definitely haunted. This video was published to YouTube in July of 2007 with the title, Dragon Was Caught Sight Of by Infrared Rays. This video appears to show the ghostly smoky figure of a long creature fly through the air from the top to the bottom of the frame. Modern scholars suggest that crocodiles might be the closest to resemble a dragon, and maybe what informed its imagery. Or maybe this creature is something else completely, and just somewhat resembles a dragon. Nothing else like this has been caught on the security camera since. Do you believe in poltergeists? What if you're confronted with video proof? YouTuber Ethan N. Thurrock posted poltergeist activity happening in his office across three videos. In the first video, the office door closes on its own. Some paper towel moves, along with a computer cable followed by a tape dispenser on the desk. Then the computer monitor starts to blink on and off. The timestamp reads 6 9 2015. In the second video in the same room, a toy car moves across the desk to the very edge. The timestamp reads 6 10 2015. It's hard to tell if the last video is in the same room, as it's from a different camera and perspective, but it's filming while someone is in the office. As she's working on her computer, her coffee mug suddenly moves abruptly, spilling some coffee on her desk right next to her electronics. She jumps up to move everything out of the way. If you weren't a believer before, you'd be hard to explain this series of events. A YouTuber named Bay State Hockey watches nervously as a tornado takes shape one field over. There it is. Oh my dad. That's only a couple hundred feet away, Dad. Good lord. Just when it looks like they've outrun the first tornado, they see more problems ahead. There's two! There's like three. There's three of them! The only thing that saves them is the fact that the road just so happens to turn in the exact opposite direction as the tornadoes are forming. The YouTuber escapes alive, but I doubt this Florida family will ever forget the time they were wedged between three twisters and almost didn't make it. A YouTuber named Frosty Flakes is searching for elk in the woods of Imnaha, Oregon. Oregon when his elk whistle attracts a pack of hungry wolves. Soon they find themselves surrounded and have to step carefully. They are way outnumbered and the wolves sound very close by, ferocious and closing in fast. The wolves are exactly on opposite sides of us. Every time they stop to gain a sense of direction, they can hear the wolves combing through the area where they just were. And I think this is where the pack decides not to pursue any further and lets them off with a warning howl. They sound close enough to charge the entire time, yet hidden so well in their surroundings that you would never know where to even look until it was already too late. If you are considering visiting an abandoned house on your own, take this video as a warning. YouTuber Joey CTV set out to explore this abandoned house. As he sets foot inside, he announces his arrival, but no one answers. Is anybody upstairs? Speak now. That doesn't mean that they'll speak. But after a moment, though, he hears something. I just heard something. Is he just hearing things? Nope. There's somebody walking upstairs. Who's walking upstairs? Let's head upstairs to find out.
he hears an EVP on the staircase and then makes a break for it. There's no question that someone or something is upstairs, but I'd like to know whether it's people or paranormal. Is this place haunted? Or is there a person squatting here? I guess the answer to that question will remain a mystery for now. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hunting the Haunted, this ghost hunter captured something startling after sitting in the devil's chair, which is an urban legend that is likely dated back to ancient folklore. It's a statue of a chair or bench found in graveyards. Let's watch his submission. Wasn't even planning on stopping by until I seen that it was really close to us. So I figured I'd stop and uh, check it out. Yeah, they said that, you know, he sat in this chair. I can clearly hear a sad moan. Is something in this graveyard upset with his choice to sit in the devil's chair? I think he should leave before things escalate. This is said to be a real ghost video from Singapore. A woman jogs down the road when she has a creepy encounter with a stranger who may or may not be paranormal. She doesn't hear any footsteps until he is running away. It's like he was never behind, and when she looks to where he just was, he's gone. Then he passes again and things get even scarier. <laughs> You could pass somebody twice like this if you ran a wide loop around them. But why he would do this and scare her is something I doubt we could ever explain. I don't think this is paranormal, but I do think acting this way is not normal. I think it's most likely a short film, but there are no credits, and it presents itself as a real ghost video caught on camera in the description. A YouTuber named Chase on Two Wheels is riding around Atlanta, Georgia with a friend when two strangers approach and ask a lot of direct questions. Huh? What kind of bike? Yeah. The men immediately back off when they learn he is recording with a helmet cam. That's when Chase's friend notices something is very wrong. One of the men never takes his hand out of his pocket, and when they review the footage, they see what appears to be some kind of firearm. Maybe they are jumping to conclusions, but there's just no way to know what would have happened next if the men didn't notice Chase was recording. Based on what you've seen here, let me know if you think they really were armed or just making friendly conversation. A witch was captured on a security camera performing rituals outside this home. She appears to arrive on a broomstick She scatters something on the ground and then does a little dance. Then it seems like she sets off a car alarm with her antics. After wandering around the car for a while, she returns to her place and bows down. After doing some more strange dancing, she disappears. She returns to dance again, though. Is this real witch activity caught on video? I want to believe. After all, some of it does look quite convincing. But again, her disappearance leaves me skeptical. A YouTube channel called Outdoor Adventures encounters some creepy activity in the woods that some viewers are certain is paranormal. It happens during the first night of a camping trip. He's looking into the distance when there's a brief burst of movement coming from over his shoulder. He suspects that this could be some deer running 
behind him, but I think it looks more like a ghost encounter because of its pale color and formless shape. Ordinarily, I would say that this was steam from his breath, except this was taken in the middle of summer in north central Pennsylvania, so it's obviously too warm out, and I don't think he's making up the date because it's warm enough that he doesn't need a jacket, so that's surprising and all. But there's one more scary part to this video that I'm sure you won't expect. Did you happen to see the eyes watching over his shoulder at 2 minutes and 17 seconds? Because whatever this is, sure sees the camera. Its odd eyes spaced across an unseen face, much larger than yours or mine. A creepy sighting of a large, unknown creature is probably one of the scariest things to be found in the forest in quite some time. The camera slowly focuses on a figure with strikingly hideous humanoid features on an oversized head underneath hunched over shoulders. It easily clears a tall balcony covered in ivy as it straightens up and glares at the camera. Its mouth Ashing. The edge of the dark woods at its back. Notice as it runs how the rest of it looks like a monster. It doesn't look like a person in a mask. If this is a costume, it's an expensive one that goes all the way to the ground. The uploader of this video claims that this is a sighting of the infamous Dogman of Michigan, a humanoid creature who is said to have been roaming the woods for years. If so, then this is the closest anyone has ever gotten to it before. But with that said, the quality of this video would suggest that it's either very old or has been edited. I can't tell which it is, so maybe you can help me decide. Basements are where hidden secrets are kept in the dark, old memories and keepsakes of things that are too scary for the surface and would get you some strange looks. Basements often serve as a place for troubled minds to explore the scariest facets of the human imagination. A YouTuber named Jonathan Wickholm goes exploring the basement of his girlfriend's apartment building because it's creepy and old, and he suspects scary stuff is down there. He's not wrong. So James agreed, the moment you walk in this room, it's creepy. It makes no sense. Over by James, there's a random stool and a microwave that, is it plugged in? No. Okay. So, it gets weirder. In the center of the room is a large cedar wood box. On the outside is a door that unlocks only from the outside. Sticking out the top of the mysterious nondescript box is a pipe for giving someone air. And when he opens it, this is what it is. It is a small room with chairs, it's nothing else. He finds a small hidden room where someone can be kept secret down here without anyone going down to find them for a long time. What was being kept down here? I fear I already know the answer. James, look at this, James, look at this. There's scratch marks. There are legit scratch marks. There are f***ing scratch marks. Drilled into the ceiling of the secret prison place are holes that look like they were put there for further ventilation. What would you do if your daughter's imaginary friend was a demon? Originally posted by TikToker Leo Lords 15 this video was shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah and is now trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. The TikToker explains that her daughter has been communicating with someone ever since they moved into this old house. Hey. So we are just moving in. I'm literally it's such a mess. I'm sorry, but my daughter has been talking to an imaginary friend. After letting it run, this is what she found. This looks beautiful and funny. What do you want to see? Okay. While talking with her stuffed animals and or her imaginary friend, the closet door opens on its own. A strange growling noise is heard. The girl seems to hear it too and takes it as her cue to leave.
Imaginary friends will always be creepy, but I'm not sold on the growling noises. It sounds like it's edited in. In fact, it sounds less like growling and more like someone drinking from a straw. What do you think? Is this girl's imaginary friend a demonic creature? Or is this a sound effect? The news is pretty boring until something totally unexpected like this happens, and you'll never guess what it is. Two anchors are having a chat when their background gets bizarre. Ordinarily, I would say this is two different shots edited together. However, the crowd seems to stay the same as the man disappears. At 4 seconds, you can see the individual is crossing from left to right. They come out from the column soon after the man disappears, which indicates this was all one continuous take. This Redditor and their sister have experienced some paranormal happenings in their home. This is the first activity they've ever caught on video. Keep an eye on the drawer in the corner. The drawer slowly but surely opens, leaving the pair to wonder what this ghost is looking for. Redditors have some ideas. A number of Redditors suggest that it could be opening due to subtle vibration, or the cabinet not being installed level leading to imbalance. Unless there's further evidence of paranormal activity, I think this may be the case in this instance, but if I'm being honest, I'd rather it be a ghost looking for a potato peeler. A paranormal investigator named Paravent posted this video of their daughter, who they think may have attracted a spirit of her own. She raises the camera to show nobody is in there, and the corner is indeed empty. But when she thinks it's over, the spirit lets her get through just a little more of the song, and then moves the chair again. The chair isn't fully visible, so it could be staged because anybody could have moved it at the bottom, but when I first saw this, I thought it kind of looked like someone was pulling up a chair to hear her play, and that was before I read the many different comments saying the same thing. So is this fake, or really someone watching from the other side? Morgan Adams is a popular YouTuber who doesn't ordinarily focus on paranormal content at all, so when she recently suspected that her house was haunted, you know I had to take a look. Let's go over the evidence and see if her suspicions are correct. She claims to hear tapping and scratching on the walls, which could be an animal, but then there's whispers too. When this happens, she uses Snapchat and almost always detects a second face nearby. She has named the spirit Angie and it seems to have become quite attached. Angie often responds to her own name. Angie. Oh my god. Angie, you have a lot of new friends that would like to say hi. Oh my- Though Snapchat could be mistaking the shelf behind her for a winking face, and these two objects on the wall for eyes, Angie typically lurks around the corner of the house reserved for overnight visitors, coincidentally the same area where her dog Ollie absolutely refuses to go. Even with the promise of a treat, Ollie will only allow himself to go so far before he refuses to budge. Some dogs have trouble keeping their balance on hardwood floors and can actually develop a fear of them over time. I thought that could be Ollie's deal because he puts one paw on the wood and stops at 9 minutes and 8 seconds, but at 8 minutes and 52 seconds he has no problem walking on the same type of floor, so that can't be why. I think Morgan Adams could be giving a verbal command for Ollie to sit when she says okay at 9 minutes and 8 seconds. You tell me if Ollie is doing a trick or if he senses something and is too nervous to go forward. <gasps> come on. Okay. Come on. I don't think it's fake because then she tells him to come on and he still won't move. And when Morgan gets to the end of the hall, she hears a noise and shudders. <sighs> Plus, Ollie isn't the only animal acting weird. Her cat will freeze at the door like someone is on the other side. And Morgan even hears knocking sometimes. Cut it out right now. Stop! 
There's never anything there and yet the cat stares at the wall as if something has its attention. Literally, I'm gonna freak out if you don't stop. So, oh my, oh my, there's orbs, literally. An orb of light also flies in the direction that her cat is staring. Odd indeed. Oh, and there's also this strange Snapchat photo taken in the middle of the night. It could be something photoshopped, but I see something more to it. To the left of the shadow person, I see a face on the wall and another peeking out from behind the covers. It almost looks like the exact same from a photo taken at the Mountain Pass, where Angie the Spirit first followed Morgan home. And if you're wondering where Angie is in the photo, check out Morgan's shoulder. The dark hair is not hers. Finally, one night, her dad lets it slip that the property was built near an old burial ground. Tell me if you think he is telling the truth here or not. Do you think our house is haunted? Nope. The way he pauses and looks away makes me think he could have been trying to avoid saying anything that could make his daughter worry any more than she already has been. So is all of this real or fake? I'm 50-50 on this one, so your opinions will help me decide. This one is a head scratcher. Redditor Nikki Nabs explains that her dad was in a local pub when something unusual happened. Watch the guy's shoelace. Did you see that? It looks like something undid his shoelace. Some in the comments say the lace was stuck under his left foot and the shoe untied when he moved his right foot. Is that what you're seeing here? I think they might be right. Then again, a mischievous specter would be more fun. Scary Surreal Places and Time Lapse is a YouTube channel that speeds up raw footage of odd and interesting locations in search of anything out of the ordinary. They are recording a pure at random when this strange creature comes rushing towards them. I would say this is just a fish, but the animal clearly starts on land and paddles to them before submerging at the last second. They shine their lights around both sides of the pier, but whatever it was is long gone. The animal is very small, but the wide wake left in its path suggests that it's much more powerful than it seems. Leave me your best guess as to what this could be, because even the uploaders of this video have never seen anything move like it before, and they themselves are not sure what it was. Creepy creatures creeping in the night, not exactly something you'd want to watch in the dark, but this YouTuber published this footage in August of 2016. The footage shows what looks to be a picnic area late at night. Trees border the area, lights shine beyond, and shadows fall to give you an extreme sense of trepidation and fear. That's when the creepy thing starts to creep out from behind a tree trunk. The humanoid features bony shoulders, a round head, and elongated arms that touch the ground, as if it's walking on all fours. The body is hunched over, the knees bent, and its movements are slow at first and then sudden. It looks like a praying mantis if the insects were humanoid. One YouTuber suggests that it looks like an old crippled man with crutches, while another thinks it's the legendary rake. What do you think this creepy creature could be? The San Antonio Cemetery in Texas could be one of the scariest places in the world. To go exploring if this video is real, a ghost hunter from the Paranormal Journal stands in total darkness when some creepy things are caught on camera, and despite the lack of light, what he experiences is downright terrifying. His paranormal equipment detects movement and then a single word crackles across the spirit box in an odd, staticky voice. He never shows us exactly where he positioned the motion detection equipment, so it could be detecting his movement or a gust of wind for all we know. But here's something weird. 
If you look closely, there is a strange phantom light at 29 seconds, the same moment that the motion detection alarm goes off that soon fades away. I would say there's another investigator, but I think that he might have been exploring the haunted cemetery all alone that night. If so, I have no idea what this light is, and even if it was a member of his team, that still doesn't explain the odd voice moments later that says hello. I would really like it if someone who speaks Spanish could tell me what this reporter is saying. He seems to be pointing at something moments before he has a scary encounter caught on live TV news. At 28 seconds, it looks like he thinks he's stepping into a shallow end, but apparently there isn't one to be found. Now he has dirty water in his eyes and needs help to get out, but to his credit, he holds onto the microphone the entire time. Talk about true job dedication. I'm glad they were able to pull him out because he might have had a hard time climbing up the muddy slope himself. I really hope he didn't swallow any of that water, because who knows what kind of bacteria is in it. Fausto Perez believes he has forged a spiritual connection with an extraterrestrial. He sets up a camera to demonstrate his capabilities and waits for a response. Beans in the sky come to me, give me a sign. Uh, help me advance to high level of consciousness, let me see you. Less than 10 minutes later, he and his team spot a foreign white square twisting in the wind. This is what he affectionately refers to as a flying carpet, as it's apparently just one of the many regular visitors he receives from the sky. Whatever this square-shaped object is, it has to be absolutely huge to be visible from this far away. Only one of the cameras manages to catch it. Overall, no one can say for sure if this is a real encounter or a mere coincidence. If Fausto is wrong about this extraterrestrial sighting, then I have no idea what it could actually be. Brynn is ready to take a hike through the infamous Aokiyahara Forest in Mount Fuji, Japan. It isn't long before he finds a dark and foreboding entrance. He's not very far inside when he comes across an abandoned bike. Laying on the seat is the open packaging for a kitchen knife. Sadly, it is clear that this person came here with one clear purpose. A short while later, he comes across a bag that is empty except for a note. He tries to read the Japanese writing and comes up short. It says 12-11. I can't quite make out the... I think this is somebody's name just here. And... I'm not sure what this means. If you can read the message, then please share what it says with me so that we'll know once and for all. As soon as he's finished reading, a crow caws directly overhead. Later. It's an ominous sign for sure, so Bryn decides to get out of there before anything bad happens. Just like lights. Some sort of paranormal activity. This gym could be haunted according to Coach Megan, who is making a video of her backhand spring when she sees what she describes as a little blue light on the speaker, almost like a camera flash except she is by herself, so nobody could have taken it. Two seconds later, a floating white anomaly travels towards her in the mirror and then mysteriously disappears, only to resurface two seconds afterwards as a strange white light streaking down from behind. After reviewing the evidence, I honestly can't tell if this scary moment is a camera glitch, edited, or truly paranormal, but since the video is pretty good quality, I think it's probably more likely real than not. Anything that's gonna scare you is just like lights. Some sort of paranormal activity. An Uber driver is taking home two passengers when a car they have never seen before overtakes them on the left and then puts on the brakes. Before anyone has the chance to make sense of the situation, the other driver is already hurrying over. He taps on the window and orders the Uber driver to get out of his car, which makes the passengers panic. What's going on? I don't know. What's that? You blew the f right leg. Get the f out of the car. Just go, just go, 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 go. No, just go. Just go. Go. Go around. Thinking fast, the Uber driver takes the right course of action by not getting out of his vehicle, driving away instead. 
They manage to escape and are ready to forget about the whole incident. When they see his high beams on them again, that's when they make the second smart decision and get the police on the phone. Call 911. Make a left here. Make a left here. Our car is following us. And he bangs on the window and says, Get out of the car to the driver. Eventually, they get pulled over and explain everything to an officer, who proceeds to speed away after dispatching a description of the vehicle to all other units. It's hard for him to open the doors because they don't know how to open the door with the Tesla. That's good. So that actually works. Okay, so see, now that's another Did he benefit. try to open the yes, door? Yes, yes. Oh my god. Yes. The car that was chasing them is still nearby, and the driver is charged with being under the influence. Kudos to the driver for keeping his passengers safe and not responding with aggression himself. Had he gotten out of the car and into an altercation, he could have been charged with something or made the situation worse. To kick off this entry, we enter the medieval old town of Edinburgh. The storied history of Scotland's capital lends itself to some truly legendary hauntings. This video illustrates that no matter where you turn in Edinburgh, you may find yourself face to face with the paranormal. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Rocket League RL, something frightening is caught on film in this normal, everyday Edinburgh park. Even J.K. Rowling found ghostly inspiration in Edinburgh, citing the very real Greyfriars Kirkyard, where you will find some of her character names taken straight from the cemetery's very own tombstones. Needless to say, Edinburgh is the perfect scene for paranormal sightings, as this video goes to show on the banks of a lake, across the jungle gym bars of a playground, a phantom woman appears to stand still as day turns to dusk. Apart from the ghastly image of this figure stood unmoving there, strange incoherent sounds are heard throughout the clip. <gasps> Is this a case of Edinburgh's terrifying history come to life? Or are our eyes deceiving us? What happens when a flight goes haywire mid-air? Passengers of JetBlue Flight 292 found out firsthand on their flights from California to New York, a flight that ended in flames, smoke, and sparks. After the flight took off from Burbank's Bob Hope Airport, an indicator light came on noting that there was an issue with the landing gear. The front tires of the airplane had swiveled sideways and were frozen there, as the retraction gear hadn't fully retracted. With 146 passengers on board, the airliner swung laps in the California sky for three hours to burn off fuel so that their emergency landing wouldn't be so fiery. They were told to land at LAX, as it was supplied with more emergency equipment and a longer runway on which to land. The pilot would land it using primarily the back wheels of the airliner. All the while, people were watching this scary event live at home on TV. Passengers were watching it on their tiny TV monitors on the back side of each seat. Loads of emergency equipment sat ready on the runway, while more than 100 firefighters awaited the landing. Time stood still, with thousands stopping on highways and watching from nearby buildings. As the jetliner made its final approach, passengers were told to get in the brace position as they prepared for landing. Needless to say, many feared for their lives in this moment. But the pilot managed to land softly on the runway, on the plane's back wheels. It was the smoothest landing I ever had, one passenger said. As its front end touched down, friction sent up plenty of sparks and blaze. But the fire subdued quickly. The passengers, and everyone watching, were relieved that this scary, intense event didn't end up much worse. Applause broke out on board for the pilots and crew. The pilot's cool-headed grid has since been praised the world over, as it should be. Dogman sightings are being caught on tape more often than ever. Here are two separate dogman encounters taken by different people years apart that are remarkably similar. The first video was taken in 2015, after a neighbor noticed all the fruit had been picked from their apple and pear trees. It's late at night when this large creature with a broad face and beady white eyes comes up to the window for a closer look. It looks like the window is probably 7 or 8 feet from the ground. 
Judging from the lamppost across the way, this creature looks tall enough to reach up and pick fruit from a tree. Apparently all of the food outside has been eaten and now they're thinking about coming in. I'm surprised at the lack of detail showing because it's standing in the light, so I'm not sure if this is fake. It looks like it wants to climb in but thinks better of it and eventually walks away. Real or fake, that video looks similar to a different dogman encounter years later. In this sighting, a mysterious creature watches from a window late at night, same as before. It has beady white eyes and on its head are two pointy ears, the signature trademark of a dogman sighting. This creature looks smaller than the other one, but its behavior is the same. It stares inside for a long time and then slinks away. And based on the sound it makes, whatever this creature is, it's far from human. A YouTuber named North by Wild West is enjoying Christmas with the family when suddenly a low rumbling noise from the woods gets everyone's attention. The tree. What was that? Oh my god. Did you see that? They see something dart behind the garage and everyone rushes out of the door for a closer look. Soon they see the large dark outline of a large creature stomping off in the distance. No way. That can't be. What the? They don't see it again for a long time, but then it reappears along their property line for a bit longer before disappearing for good. Oh my god. At first, I thought this video was probably fake because I did not hear any genuine fear in their voices, but then I realized they simply sounded uncertain of the situation themselves, which is reasonable. After all, this could be a real forest creature or someone in a gorilla suit. It could even be a neighbor playing a prank on them for all they know, but I do think, given these possibilities, their lackluster reaction is genuine. This man thought he'd get away with it, but he was sorely mistaken. Published by Rio Link in July of 2019, the suspect is seen crossing a quiet road at night in June of 2019 at around 3 in the morning. As the vehicle approaches, he hurries across the road and hides under the front end of a parked truck in a driveway. After the vehicle passes, the dude rolls from under the truck and puts his hood on. He then tries to enter the truck because the door is unlocked. But before he can snatch any valuables, the car alarm goes off, undoubtedly waking up the whole neighborhood. And the would-be burglar flees across the street. I think we can all agree this attempt failed miserably. Epoch Paranormal is the YouTube channel of paranormal investigator Joseph Sturgill. A veteran of the YouTube paranormal community, he started uploading in late 2009. During his investigation of West Virginia Penitentiary, Sturgill managed to capture a terrifying piece of evidence. In the short video, Sturgill explains he had a constant feeling something was behind him, even though nothing was. Was. It was during a joint investigation, but he says it wasn't any of the other investigators he felt. <laughs> during the walkthrough and prior to the incident, Sturgill documents some disturbing graffiti on the wall in one of the cells. While the messages were clearly made long after the prison was shut down, and rather recent judging by the good condition, the words still send shivers up one's spine. Sweet lips lie wife mine three feet under the kicker reads one, accompanied by three stick figures. Two are laying on the ground labeled Josh and Alex, while the third positioned in the middle is hanging from the ceiling labeled Dave. Below these is written I'll be back, clearly referencing the hauntings occurring in the building. While it is likely the names written on there are the actual perpetrators of the graffiti and is likely a simple sick joke, it does enhance the chilling atmosphere of the location. Another creepy message in a different cell reads, doing time is a blessing, unless you're sick as a dog and do some confessing. With a 
rather impressive skull drawing above it. It's enough to make you wonder what drives people to write such messages. Writings on the wall aside, the main feature of the video happens just after the three minute mark. Sturgill turns around to face the way he just came and spots what appears to be a tall figure standing in the doorway. It looked like there was a person there. He even comments about it and it looks as if whatever was there moves to the left of the door frame out of sight. While it is hard to see, the apparition has distinguishable features, including visible arms and legs, while its head is obscured by the top of the frame. Sturgill briefly focuses back on the cell he is in front of before turning the camera back towards the end of the hall. When he pans back, the figure is gone, and the doorway looks unlike what it did before. Nothing looks obscured, and his light goes right through this time. Could this be what was following him the entire time? In any haunted location, it is difficult to determine the type of ghost one could be dealing with. Is it friendly, malevolent, neutral, scared, in a prison? The motivations of those left behind can be even more difficult. Imagine all the different personalities who resided there when it was open. Thieves, life takers, petty crooks, innocent as well as guilty. Thankfully for Sturgill, it appears on this occasion whatever was following him was nothing more than curious as to who is visiting the prison. Hopefully all future guests only experience the same entity and not something more vicious. This tape was found under a bridge somewhere in Russia. In it, a person is riding their bicycle while talking happily into the camera. If you speak Russian, please let me know what is being said here. Всем привет. В общем, я сейчас нахожусь под Suddenly, their monologue is cut short by a shrill noise off camera. Слышите? Чёрт. It sounds like he is asking who is there, when suddenly the answer comes rushing up to him. His scream becomes scrambled and the camera fades away. If this video is real, then I can't help but notice how the mutant shriek sounds almost human. I wonder how close this video was to the infamous site of the Chernobyl meltdown. A man from an unknown country is checking an old apartment when he is confronted by the spirit of its former inhabitants. First, something whispers behind him in another language, possibly Arabic, followed by movement. <laughs> Then they slam the door he just walked through and raise the lock in midair, something that a person would not be able to do just from banging really hard on the other side. <laughs> Orbs are going crazy, although it is pretty dusty in here. Anyway, pay attention to this side of the room. No one is here, yet in moments a paw flies from this direction, and when he turns around you can see the room is completely empty. Phantom figures crouch low behind doorways and promptly disappear, and when he hears these running footsteps overhead, he knows it's time to leave fast. They sound heavy and are heading straight his way. Published by Urban Ghost Hunters in February of 2020. This paranormal crew investigated a haunted 19th century church in rural Tennessee with urban legends surrounding it, involving dark rituals from the 60s onward, and reports of shadow figures and disembodied voices there. It was ripe for investigation, and the crew wasn't disappointed. After placing a Bible on the candlelit railing in the church, something in there was angered by it. I guess this church lives up to its haunted reputation. A family is being frightened by a ghostly apparition somewhere in Mexico, and this is the moment they finally see it. The side of someone's face peers out from within the closet, but when they go to check where it just was, it's gone. 
Dinos, dinos, si se hace somo alguien, alúzame, 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 espera, espérate, alúzame. There definitely was something in there because you can see its face push up against a shirt. However, at 36 seconds, there may be an editing cut when the camera is covered. This could be where they stop recording, let him out the closet and start recording again. When ghosts just won't leave you alone, what more can you do but investigate? Published to YouTube by Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. In December of 2017, this four-part paranormal series has it all. In the first video, the homeowner explains that the ghosts in his home just won't leave him be. He welcomes the good ghosts to stay, but the activity has skyrocketed. Not the one that's saying it. Hello? Is anybody in here? He says they're constantly saying his name. In the first video, while running the spirit box, the spirit tells him, It's me. When he asks who's in here, the spirit says, Just you, Kent. The spirit also tells him, It's my house, I need help, Rachel's in trouble. All throughout the clip, he hears other EVPs and disembodied voices, even without using the spirit box. In parts 2, 3, and 4, as the investigation continues, he and his wife regularly hear disembodied voices throughout the home. Often, the voice cusses, tells Kent to get out of there, asks for help, or tells him to be careful. When he's in the room with what he calls the witch's window, the spirit is even more vocal. It says, we're not done, they're all weak. Kent also sees faces in the porch window, which he believes are spirits. After listening to all this, it's not a stretch to think that something bad happened in this house, and could that be what is causing the paranormal events that are happening in this house? Steve Ronan knows firsthand how scary randonauting can be, and says the Randonautica app is not to be taken lightly based on his experiences. He and Josh tell Randonautica that they want to manifest something dark and twisted in their exact words and let the app tell them where to explore. Through the woods is where they are told to go. A mysterious light in the woods leads them to a pentagram painted on a tree, a symbol that's as dark and twisted as it gets and it's only the beginning. Rando Nautica takes them to an abandoned house, and the same unexplained light is right there with them. It remains the same size no matter how close they get. The light takes them to the backyard where it goes behind an object at 16 minutes and 50 seconds, so it's not coming from their equipment at all. Also, while they are exploring the area, this ghostly figure appears in the screen window. Tell me if you see it. It looks kind of like a face with two hands. While exploring the abandoned house, they see the face of another ghost in the hallway. At 21 minutes and 29 seconds, it's in front of the railing and looking down. That's when they hear the scariest sounds of all. We're using an app called Police calling for them to come out and explain themselves. Ghost hunting YouTube channel in Russia called Dark Ghost Paranormal says they've caught real video evidence of poltergeist activity on camera while exploring an abandoned house that's haunted. After leaving cameras upstairs to record video evidence, Dark Ghost Paranormal goes exploring in the basement to investigate. For any poltergeist activity, the entrance to the basement has been boarded up like somebody really didn't want anyone to get in, or maybe they were trying to prevent something from getting out, something paranormal. He gets a creepy feeling down here, the basement looks completely demolished, stuff thrown everywhere and so he goes back upstairs. Exploring the haunted basement must have set something free, because it isn't long before the poltergeist is coming to investigate these ghost hunters. Something scary happens behind him. The voice of a little ghost girl comes from a dresser, one that just so happens to be a child's height and is no doubt possessed by the ghost of one. 
The ghost hunter examines the area for a little bit, and just when he's about to wrap up the paranormal investigation, the scary poltergeist activity picks up again. This angle gives us a better look at how close the dresser is to the wall, way too close for someone to have been hiding behind it. The heavy object is moving by itself, or from a ghost to be more precise, and so he leaves the abandoned house to further rot. This video was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Gobs of Goblins. The Redditor wrote, kept hearing a weird inconsistent tapping noise coming from the ceiling. The attic is directly above my room. Caught one of the times it happened on video. Check the attic and nothing's there. Still kind of freaks me out. I can certainly hear what the Redditor is talking about. Check it out. I know the Redditor checked the attic, but I'm thinking something has to be hiding up there. Not everyone is convinced though. Gohan0912 wrote in the comments that they think it's squirrels or birds. So what do you think? Is there a stranger secretly living in this house? Or is the answer really as simple as Gohan thinks it is? 9 out of 10 people do not immediately notice what's wrong with this handshake, so allow me to show you where to look. Trust me, you'll be sorry that I did. Give me your hand. I like cake, I just don't like ice. That's my main. This is someone's right hand and yet they're on the left side. Also look at their fingernails. They're facing the wrong way. How can this be? The answer isn't pretty. The condition is called hypermobility. Though the phrase double jointed is commonly used, it's mostly genetic, meaning you are either born with this unusually large range of movement or not. Only 20% of people have it, though typically not to this degree, and there's no way for the rest of us to gain this talent, if you want to call it that, so don't even try to practice. Like most people, watching this video makes me feel like my fingers are going to fall off. Tell me if you would be able to shake the hand of someone with hypermobility while they were doing this. I mean, it's creepy, but also kind of cool. A group of British ghost hunters are walking around the Wilney graveyard in search of paranormal evidence. It's late at night when they apparently find exactly what they are looking for. Pay close attention to the area between the two tombstones or you might miss it. What the f was that? The man's flashlight passes over a tall silhouette that makes him pause. It looks like it could have simply been some shadows playing against the wall, but they light up the entire area and there's no wall to be found. Let me know if you saw the strange shadowy figure and what you think it could have been. This video is the launching point of One Wild Ride. Posted to the Ring subreddit, Midship92 explains that his neighbor messaged, asking him to check on his wife who is home alone because someone was trying to get inside. After going to check and finding no one, this friendly neighbor went back home only to find this ring video footage had been sent to him. The clip shows what the man just missed, a shirtless creep crawling up the front steps of the home, hiding his face away before trying the door in an attempt to break in. The man then lets himself down the steps and walks off. The Redditor adds in the comments, After doing this to several houses and evading police, he was finally caught. Finding the man was quite an ordeal. The Redditor elaborates further, explaining that during the police search, the suspect kept disappearing only to be seen again minutes later. After trying to catch the guy for nearly an hour, only for him to vanish into thin air, the police abandoned the search. Left to his own devices, the man again tried to get in through another neighbor's back door. But the Redditor saw him from his deck. He chased the man into another neighbor's crawl space and stood guard there until the police returned. Thankfully, the wild goose chase led to the wild goose being caught. 
December 12, 2020, Lisa feels somebody walk past in her kitchen. She absentmindedly smooths over her hair and doesn't think about how weird it was until later. The security camera shows a long strand of her hair move by itself and some lights fly overhead. The ceiling fan was not on and doesn't look like a fan anyway. It looks like someone grabs it and lets go. She says and thinks it was a ghost because it felt like a person was right there. Lisa knows who it must be, the shadow person she caught on camera two weeks prior. November 29th, she kept getting motion detection warnings on her phone. The video looks like a person outside of her house, except she says nobody was caught on outside cameras. Normally I would say, yeah right at this story, except look how the shadow exits. It just up and floats away. That's not normal to them or me. January 8th, 2021, the shadow figure moves into the garage. It's not somebody's shadow from outside. Four seconds is when you can see this shadow figure has two eyes. I'll circle them, what do you think? All I know is that's not what I'd want to see on my phone after a motion alert. By January 17th of the following year, the shadow person had progressed to haunting objects. Maybe that was gravity, but they think it looks more like a ghost moved it. Anyway, those are some of the scarier videos on their channel to date. Something tells me more weird things will happen as the paranormal activity continues to manifest itself deeper inside the home, which I think is clearly haunted. A paranormal investigator named Exist wants to see if ghosts exist in an abandoned funeral parlor in South Korea. In this stairwell is where they record the strongest evidence of paranormal activity. Something is at the bottom of these steps, according to their readouts. Snapchat finds activity in the corner. It looks like a ghost in a white dress with her back turned, long black hair. They don't dare go down there and confront her. Instead, they sum up a music box that is hand cranked at the top of the steps and see if she will come to them. I'm not sure if a ghost is really doing this or if they were in control. If someone has more information about the paranormal equipment they're using here, then let me know if this part is real or if they have a secret way to control it. So much energy surrounds them that the music box never stops playing. They have to manually turn it off, satisfied that this experiment was a success. Next, he records his Snapchat filter to see if any faces are caught coming up the stairs. Instead, he gets something even scarier. Something walks right by them, opens the door and holds it open for them. They respect the spirit's wishes and politely leave. Yes, poltergeists can be powerful, but this one is like its own microburst. Published by Find Ghost in August of 2021, this haunting footage was originally captured on a security camera in April of 2009, just after midnight. The footage shows an empty room with chairs stacked along one side. One chair is overturned in the middle of the room like it was flung there, and after seeing what happens next, perhaps it was, an object falls off a table, one of the stacked chairs wobbles back and forth, then all of a sudden all the chairs burst as if flung forward simultaneously. A moment later another invisible burst in the room sends all the objects flying momentarily into the air. In the last split second everything flies sky high again. What is happening in this haunted room and what will happen next? These two unidentified 
unidentified flying object sightings are eerily similar. Posted on Reddit by GamersGan, these two sightings from Miami and Beijing are comparative. The first appeared in Beijing on February 3rd, 1995. The unidentified flying object hovers as an illuminated yellow disc in the evening sky. After a while, it starts to glide slowly overhead. GamersGen posts a second video in the comments, one which looks similar to the first but was captured on October 20th, 1995. This unidentified flying object was spotted along a freeway. The driver pulled over to capture it hovering near an apartment complex and then over Miami Airport. GamersGen suggests that today, unidentified flying objects aren't seen as often for a reason. His theory? They have become more cautious and further said, they seem to be extremely aware of us observing them, and above all, they don't want to be compromised. What do you think? It makes sense to me, and these two sightings are certainly quite similar. A YouTuber named Daniel Ott performs a summoning ritual that quickly comes to a close after he begins to feel weird. In doing so, he accidentally records a strange moving light while describing how bad he feels. I don't know, my body, it just doesn't feel right right now. I've just been hearing things. It might be trails of light left by the paranormal, or it could just be light reflecting off the chandeliers as he crosses the dining room. But still, as soon as he walks into the next room, this fleeting shadow appears on the wall. It could belong to him, but the angles don't quite match up. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Um, I'm not sure if I'm... I'm probably going to make another one of these. One of these experiences could be easily explained away, but having both of them happen back to back is almost too much of a coincidence for me to believe, especially after a summoning ritual. Michael Luongo catches a shapeless form floating around his basement that he can't explain. You can see it best during the first five seconds of the video, when one half stands out against the stabs. It's also barely visible in the reflection of the television here at 10 seconds. And when Michael turns back at the stairs, it's already gone. I'm thinking that there might be something wrong with the camera to make this blurry object appear. But then again, it does happen to be floating right above this access panel behind the sofa. So maybe Michael should open it up and see if anything is waiting for him in the wall. It's every thrill seeker's worst nightmare. Published by Robbie8984 in January of 2012, this pair was strapped into an amusement park ride in Alton, Illinois, ready for the thrill of their lives when the belt snapped on one of their seats. As the ride takes off, the woman starts to panic when she sees her harness come unstrapped. Luckily, the harness doesn't seem to be necessary as the primary lock keeps her securely in place. Many in the comments say these belts are just fail-safe to give riders a sense of security. Either way, imagine seeing your sense of security come undone in the middle of being tossed through the air by a roller coaster. This cat is playfully smacking around a Brillo pad when it stops to look straight up, ears back completely frozen, almost as if someone invisible is standing over it. Next, an orb floats upwards and makes it jump straight into the air. After a while, the house pet regains interest in its toy, only to stop and look around again, slightly bewildered. It looks at its owner briefly and then follows the orb with its head in a swooping motion, possibly the very same orb as before. There's no doubt that the cat sees something out of the ordinary as it tracks the orb perfectly. Both times, it completely loses interest in the toy and seems somewhat alarmed over an unseen presence. I guess there could be some other explanation, but if I was alone and saw all of this going on, I would definitely question if my house was haunted. A man records his pet cat studying its reflection in a mirror for the very first time. The animal is fascinated and over and over again, it tests the reflection by cautiously putting one paw in front of the other, almost as if it doesn't completely trust what it is seeing. Now satisfied that this mirror image is no threat, the cat settles down and looks behind for one moment, but as it turns out, its initial instincts were right all along. If you didn't catch it, the cat's reflection does not match the cat's own movements. So what do you think? Was this special effects or a once-in-a-lifetime moment caught on video? 
I'm convinced that house is haunted, since it looks too realistic to be done by amateur video editing. The SEMGHS Ghost Hunters record some interesting evidence of the paranormal during their investigation of a house in Waterford, Michigan. Nobody is anywhere near the doorway when this motion detector goes off, so tell me how this can happen. This is an abuse of my shadow. Oh! The motion went off. Then when he says hello, the motion detector fades away as orbs fall. Hello. Okay, what you are seeing right there lit up, that's the motion detector. And, it just and as they are talking about what happened, a third voice chimes in with this creepy whisper. Yeah. Plus the, uh, it was the the, uh. This Redditor was seeing shadows moving from room to room throughout his home. He wanted to capture the phenomenon on video, so he set up a security camera. This is what he found, posted to the ghost subreddit by GusBR89. The Redditor asks fellow Redditors to explain the following two surveillance videos. The first video shows a strange light anomaly coupled with a shadow distortion. The second video is taken that same evening and shows an orb float across the screen. Most assume the orb is dust, but others are curious about the shadow disturbing the first video. Redditor Cloudette says it looks like an intruder. Well, Yetin admits, it certainly looks like something, though no Redditor really has a clear answer as to what this exactly is. The Redditor says this is not the only paranormal experience he's had in the place. He's heard footsteps, a child's laughter, and even has a witness to one of these shadows passing directly in front of them. Well, all of this is upsetting. Many are more afraid of the doll, and nevertheless, this video appears to convincingly show something paranormal. Paranormal investigator Tim Morozov has experienced his fair share of demon encounters over the years, but this is probably one of the most terrifying. What you're about to see is a demon trying to take Tim's soul. First, the demon shows its disdain for knock-knock jokes. Then it confronts him. It then speaks to him. This demon clearly wants him gone, and Tim finally heeds his warning. I think it's very smart of him to have gotten out when he did, considering this demon's level of aggression. I always find his videos compelling, but this one especially has me on edge. This ghost hunter should really be looking behind him. Published by Find Ghost in December of 2021, a man stands in the wilderness holding something and addressing what's in front of him. He is oblivious to what's behind him. A djinn appears, transparent at first, but then more solid looking. The djinn stays only for a moment before gradually vanishing again. The moral of the story? Sometimes what you're looking for is right over your shoulder. Web Driver Torso is one of the few YouTube channels that continues to stay creepy even after being supposedly debunked. A number of years ago, this channel was discovered uploading videos that were all rectangles and frequencies. The videos are somewhat mesmerizing to watch and many people claim they will lure you into a strange state of mind over time. Google has since come forth with an official explanation that this channel is used only to test video quality. But this is a really vague explanation and plenty of people are convinced that this is a cover-up story for something more sinister. Meanwhile, the videos have only gotten longer and are now up to 25 minutes and one second in length. Also one day in 2013, WebDriver Torso uploaded this strange video seemingly for no reason at all, further adding to the mystery. Yeah. 
As to exactly what this means, your guess is as good as mine. This channel could be anything from a video quality testing site like Google says, to a mind control experiment or even an AI program gone rogue. Also, if you can explain this channel's rather cryptic name to me, I'd definitely like to hear your best guess, though I really doubt anyone can. A YouTuber named Josh Washi is exploring an abandoned building that he suspects is haunted. Long ago, this was a school, but now is little more than a crumbling collection of rickety rooms waiting for a closer look. He and his group somehow make it all the way to the attic without falling through the floor. Hidden at the far end is a door to an unknown room that makes them nervous. His friend Nate goes to open it, and that's when the urban exploration goes wrong. No, 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 that door just f opened by itself. That door just f opened by itself. At 3 minutes and 52 seconds, you can see Nate comes very close to touching the door, but ultimately does not, and is in fact moving away from the door when it mysteriously opens like a ghost is near. I think this video is real based on one thing. They were really worried about falling through the floor until they saw the door open and took off running, which could have gone very wrong. While staying at a haunted place in Mount Albert, Ontario, YouTuber Mr. Devilish and his friend face their fears. At first, it seems like they have nothing to fear at all. So, like 15 minutes now, nothing's gone on. Chandelier. Everything's good. We got, we As you can see, the room is empty. Nobody else is with us. Nobody. But then this happens. Watch the kettle to the left. He's talking and we're like, how are we going to sleep here? And he's getting all, he was getting a little bit worried. Like, and I was like, no, I don't care. Like, really. What? Well, I'm not sure what could explain this. The cameraman's delayed reaction to the kettle moving seems suspicious. Unless he was distracted, I'm not sure why he wouldn't have seen it right away. But if this is genuine, these guys need to get out, like yesterday. I think this next video is just a man in a suit, but I wanted to get your opinion. They move fast for a supposedly large humanoid, and the way they run looks like a smaller person inside of a costume that doesn't weigh much. They run with their arms up until they remember what they're doing and let them hang a little. Also, I'm not a cryptid expert, but I think something this large would probably lean forward when it runs instead of standing straight up. This cryptid finding thermal imaging drone manages to detect the heat signature of a cryptid walking through the forest late at night. It looks somewhat convincing at first, except for one glaringly obvious flaw. At 8 seconds, the arms become really floppy, and I think they are forearm extensions sometimes used as a theater prop. The suit itself looks good except for the arms, which look really thin, especially at 14 seconds and stick out at a weird angle from the elbow. So while I have my doubts about this one, there is one thing I can't explain. It does seem to be giving off a heat signature, which I don't think someone in a costume could do. It should be almost all blue since the outfit has no circulatory system. Aldo's World TV doesn't know what to expect when he and his friend Amir take a drone into the woods from the safety of their own car. Where? Right I? there, right there. There's like something. I'm sorry. I think it's a coyote. There's like something in the trees. Right there, you see it? It's right there, it's right there. I literally don't it's like moving. It's right in front of you, right there. Oh, it's moving, right? They aren't able to go far off the trail because of the thick tree line. But after a while, they do see a mysterious creature down on all fours that looks straight at them. It has beady dark circles for eyes and porcelain skin that matches the description of a skinwalker. But when they get closer, it just looks like somebody in a white skin suit on all fours. At least that's what I see. I don't know why they didn't just fly up higher for a better view and maybe follow it back to its hideout. Instead, they for some reason go back to the car and don't report it to any park officials, which doesn't seem realistic to me. But if I'm wrong, then I wonder what it was and if it was near the trail to prey on someone passing by. Bruce Austin 3D takes his drone to Stony Point Park for some train spotting and promptly gets confronted by a large number of angry insects. 
This is near the same location where a boy was once hospitalized by a swarm of bees while riding his bicycle, and this is probably similar to what he saw as he pedaled for his life. I was surprised by just how large they are, more like the size of a full-grown wasp than the ones I'm used to seeing. Someone tell me what variety these are, because they followed his drone for a long distance and were highly aggressive. Here's a clue that might help. Their venom is so powerful. He touched his face after handling his drone, and venom from the bug guts burned his skin for 15 minutes of agony in his words. Here's a scary drone video that I don't see any way to fake. Stromedy heads deep into the bayou to see what kind of creatures would even be strong enough to survive. The swamp water is almost impossible to see down, and they're starting to think they might not find anything at all. But just when they're about to give up, they find what they're looking for. That's actually an alligator right there. Yeah, right there. Look on the left. No, we actually hit a jackpot, bro. <laughs> They're safe in their car and still nervous as one of the gators hungrily moves forward. Oh, he is. He is! Yeah, yeah, dude, he's trying to, yep, yeah, he's trying to eat us. Tell me if you think this gator is looking for a meal or looking to protect its territory. I'm just look, guessing. look, 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 watch, watch. If he moves this way, 100%. Oh, he is. Oh, oh, he is, he is, he is. A city skyline is interrupted by a tiny white pea-sized circular object that goes racing by. It's not an insect because it looks too large in proportion to the drone itself. Some say this could be a tiny spaceship full of creatures, but I think that's kind of a stretch. Someone else suggested this could be a pellet, and I agree this is a possibility. If that's what it was though, then there probably would have been more than one coming at the drone. Whatever this is, it never appeared again, and nobody has been able to solve this mystery since June 21st of 2019. There's a scary haunted tunnel in Pakistan that MMTV wants to go exploring to see what creepy things he can find inside. Exploring a haunted tunnel in the desert at night by yourself. What can go wrong? Apparently a lot. A sparkling cloud of mist lingers around him, spirits he suspects. First it travels in one direction, disappears and comes back to guide him towards the tunnel. That's really weird, but some downright scary things are caught on camera when he goes to the entrance, like this red stain on the ground that shapes the outline of a person. Strange, unexplained lights give him pause, and you can say whatever you want about this freakishly deep laughter. It's not the wind. The wind doesn't blow tires. He gets out of there fast, not wanting to face whatever is haunting this strange place. And when he takes one last glance at the entrance, he spies movement from above. Something wants to follow him home. After all of these scary moments, I would say yes, this tunnel is haunted. The Franklin County Old Jail, which was established in 1818, is widely known for being extremely haunted and usually, it seems that whoever dares to enter finds themselves getting more than they bargained for. A YouTube channel named Paranormal Purgatory decided to venture down into the jail themselves to have a look around the place. The jail is eerily decrepit and worn down, something you'd expect from a 200 year old building, but just because it's worn down doesn't mean that the place remains uninhabited. <sighs> Look at that. Look, That's can, can you see the old rocking horse in there? No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? I heard that it's too. It's in the whistle. 
So next to the bed here, I do kind of see what they're talking about here. If you just focus on the bed, there appears to be just kind of this shadow and then it almost seems to take off to the right here. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? Oh, right there. Okay, I, I now see exactly what they're talking about. So there's going to be a flash of light. So it looks like it's like a head and kind of a torso. And there's that flash of light. And then it looks like it just sort of pops right up. It happens so quickly. I should play this in slow motion. Right here. Don't you see that? And then it just pops right up just in the, the split second that it's shown in the light. Even though the crew behind the channel had only just started to look around the jail, little did they know that they didn't need to look any further for signs of paranormal life, as you can make out what appears to be some sort of shadow figure right next to the bed, which vanishes just as quick as it appears. During the rest of the video, the crew explores the remaining areas of the jail, but are ultimately unable to find any other signs of paranormal activity, even still though, seeing this shadow figure in person during an investigation would be enough to terrify anybody. A YouTube channel called Proving Demons seeks to do just that with the help of a mystery box on eBay. Proving Demons and his assistant travel to a well-known haunted house in the area and hold the unboxing ceremony there. Three items in particular grab their attention, an antique bell, an old necklace, and a wooden box with a pentagram on top. Using an EVP box, they hold up each item one at a time and ask each spirit to say the name of the item they are possessing. Tell me if you hear the same thing they are claiming to hear during this part. They do the same thing with the antique bell and seem to get another positive response. <laughs> then they decide to ask the spirit for its name, but only receive an old woman's laugh in return. <laughs> that sounded like an old lady's laugh. And when they try to do the same thing with the pentagram box, this is the single word reply. It certainly seems like whatever is haunting this house doesn't like what's in that box. Um, okay, so I'm in an abandoned house and there are like Blair Witch things hanging up here and I'm going up here 100%. Okay. A YouTuber named Commander Holly came across this strange cottage while hiking with her aunt in Ireland. The first floor is mostly just crumbling stone architecture, but Commander Holly looks up and sees strange ornaments hanging in the attic. At the top of a worn ladder, she finds an entire room full of things used for strange rituals and various incantations. So here's the circle we found. I wish this was a joke, but it's not. There's like a an amazing like triangle above it and another one. In the center of the room is a hanging decoration with faded pictures of various saints, and in the corner is a book of pure black magic. Commander Holly eagerly flips through its pages and decides to take it home to study, but I'm not so sure if that's a good idea. Let me know if you would have done the same, or if you would leave it be. After all, who knows what secrets are inside, or who may come looking for it. The Bassett Arms Pub in Barrytown, Wales is another famously haunted watering hole in the UK. All sorts of strange sightings occur here on the regular, but this one is probably the most convincing. It's getting, look at, look at oh. that, it's getting more prominent. It almost looks as though an apparition is literally leaning out of the wall and reaching forward. Tell me if you can see its head, shoulders and arms when I pause the video at the 7 second mark. Then again, I guess this alleged ghost could have been nothing more than a spider web dangling in front of the camera. I wish they would have gone to the camera and checked for any webs or long strings of dust nearby to confirm this possibility. It's the only alternative explanation I have to the paranormal. Unfortunately, we will never know for sure. 
Have you ever dreamt that you found someone in your bed, but when you pulled the covers away, there was no one there? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Bobby G01, the uploader writes, She plays this off as a joke, but I find it quite weird. The quite weird joke was posted to TikTok originally by TJY. In the video, she says she just came into her room and it literally looks like there's someone lying in her bed. She keeps saying ew as she approaches the thing, not knowing if indeed there is someone underneath. As she steps closer, ew, no, ew, ew. Oh my god, is there someone there? No. The hair stands up on the back of your neck. You prepare yourself to have something or someone jump out at you. But when she lifts the blanket, nothing is there. A wave of relief washes over you, and probably her too. Watching it again, it's very strange how a body appears to be lying under the blanket. And when she yanks it from her bed, it doesn't look thick enough to bunch up like that. Hmm. Redditor the classic Drew admits in the comments, If I saw that in real life, I would be so scared. Agreed, I probably wouldn't work up the nerve to approach it. While attempting to give a virtual tour of his home, this YouTuber discovers something unsettling. His home is haunted. Let's take a look. Notice that the table and chairs are all set, everything appears normal. He passes them again on the tour, again normal. After touring the rest of the house, he returns to the dining room. This is where things get spooky. I don't know about you, but that creepy ending definitely left me feeling very unsettled. Got insomnia? This scary video won't help. Published by Little Genius in February of 2022, the following footage was captured while this poor soul was sleeping, or trying to. Slowly, the blankets are pulled down from the man's shoulders. He pulls them back up, but it happens again, and then a third time. But this doesn't seem to get the sleeping man's attention. A water bottle balanced on his headboard falls onto the bed. He replaces it and continues to sleep, but the bottle soon wobbles to the side and falls again. Next, a chair with a teddy bear slides forward on its own. Moments later, it scoots forward even more. It then tips backward, falling onto the floor and finally waking the man up. What entity is interfering with this guy's sleep? Whoever it is, it succeeded. This man will never sleep again. What's scarier than being home alone when you think you are but you're actually not? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Amy Dancing Again, the Redditor explains that she was home alone and making a TikTok video when she started hearing noises. She writes, I heard banging noises from the spare room we use for storage. No one else was home and there seems to also be a weird humming noise. The clip appears to be taken in Amy's room. Although faint, you can hear knocking and banging noises in the background. The strange humming sound could be a car passing or some sort of vehicular noise. But as for the banging, who knows? Can you hear that? Amy asks. Yes, Amy, we can. Time to take a leaf out of Macaulay Culkin's book and start setting up some booby traps. A young boy is watching television by himself and starts making a video for fun. 
After a while, he needs to do something in another room so he puts the phone down for just a minute and accidentally records this creeper at his window. Someone peeks through the window multiple times over the course of a minute. I think those might be metal bars on the windows. So maybe this area has been dealing with break-ins, in which case there is about to be another. Then again, this strange floating orb appears as soon as the figure disappears, so maybe this is some kind of paranormal intruder instead. When the paranormal comes after you, do you stick around for more? Published by Han Kardisler, that's what this group did and they weren't disappointed. As the paranormal crew is searching an abandoned school, they find something frightening inside. They're in one room examining things when a sound is heard from the other end of the room. A moment later, a large beam of wood is shoved off a table to the floor. They cross the room, closer to the action. <laughs> And as they're talking, another large piece of wood comes flying at one of them from the door. Still they remain in the room, as though nothing happened. Are these guys crazy, or are they unfazed because they're so used to this stuff? Whatever the case, they'd best run. The Phantom is getting more aggressive by the minute. I don't know if this episode of C.K. Taylor's show is more odd or terrifying. Today's item on the menu is Gooey Duck, which is an oversized clam, not a duck, though it does look extraordinarily gooey. Forget about the appearance for one second and let me ask you this. Would you be able to eat anything that sounds like a hissing balloon? It doesn't get any prettier or less odd looking when you remove the first layer of skin. If anything, it just looks twice as terrifying as before. And when CK Taylor cracks open the shell, the rest of its body looks like some kind of tumor. This is what it looks like when it's fully prepared, which I will admit looks more like a regular piece of seafood, but still like something from another dimension. So that's a hard pass from me. To be fair, I'm sure CK Taylor is an excellent chef, and her husband says it tastes good when he tries it. It tastes good. Right? Yeah. Would you be brave enough to take a bite? YouTuber Dennis of Dark Life came across this terrifying find in the forest, and my guess is that it did not want to be found. After hearing a sound, he turns down his light so as not to scare the creature off. But in the darkness lies an evil that you must see to believe. <laughs> what was that horrifying thing? Here it is again, slower this time. I have no idea what that is, but it looks like it's feasting on something, and its glowing eyes and terrifying screech are something that will stay with me when I turn out the lights. When you're an urban explorer planning to explore an abandoned building, be prepared to find it occupied. All Around Lifestyle published this video in December of 2015. Mike wrote, Me and a mate went exploring in a grain elevator, which is located in Poland in a city called Warclaw. The footage was captured on a GoPro Silver 3 edition. After exploring the cellar and several other floors, they explore the grounds. There are several other small buildings in the area, and as they approach one of them, they hear voices. This building is as dilapidated as the rest of them, rubble on the ground, but in the far room, the guys distinctly hear several voices. Mike enters the small building, and when the people in question appear in the far doorway, 
He asks in Polish if he can record there. One man says yes, but another says no and tells him to leave now. Mike explains afterwards that he believes the people in the abandoned buildings were living there. Don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to run into anyone in this remote place. What we don't know can't hurt us, maybe. Published a TikTok by John Vasquez, he writes, Caught on my cousin's trail cam. Proof that there is something out there that we don't know about. A small buck is captured in the forefront of the shot. While behind him in the forest, a very strange looking creature passes by. It looks like a multi-tiered stack of pumpkins. The buck seems disturbed by the presence behind him as he quickly turns around and walks a few steps to peer beyond the bush. While many in the comments note that the buck obviously sensed it, a TikTok user notes the creature is something best left alone. That's probably the best advice. Pasha Pal is a popular YouTuber in Russia who gets into some pretty crazy adventures, but only one video is creepy enough to make this countdown. I'm talking about the time he and Maria went exploring some woods that are said to be frequented by members of a secret society. They bring their camera, but if caught, scary things will no doubt happen to them in a moment's notice. They are outsiders in this world. Soon they come across a fire pit and know they've found a main camp. Some discarded red candles are near a small altar with this picture, and I would like to know more about who this is a picture of and what they're known for. That way we can know more about what this society is up to. They decide it's not worth risking their lives going any deeper and start to make the long trip back to his bike. That's when they've realized they've already stayed too long, saw too much, and now they can't leave the forest alive. Nature, Maria thinks she hears somebody and it appears she's right. Lurking in the forest is this mysterious figure who tries unsuccessfully to step out of view. There is still enough time to run away, and so they take off as fast as they can. Does the spirit of a witch still call this witch's house home? YouTuber Max from Paranormal Point is here to investigate. A steady cam captures the wardrobe's entire collapse in the next room. It sounds like a dog is hiding somewhere in the room, along with something else. In another room, the candles are lit and a shadow figure drifts past. After performing a ritual, Max reaps his reward. The witch becomes angrier when he addresses her. Who are you? You can show A little later, this happens. Yeah, I would leave too. I think the witch is here, and she means business. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Ding Dong Dingle Dude. This redditor wrote, My friend and I saw this weird floating structure in the sky. Has anyone else seen something like this before? Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. What the Dude, that's just floating up there in this fucking sky. What the fuck? What the fuck? It fucking flashed. It, oh my, what? Dude, are you, are you recording? There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. 
Mountain Aviator 1 wrote, That is the mysterious radio tower. It's obstructed by clouds. Well, the Triple B thinks it's a weather balloon. What do you think this object is? Let me know in the comments. The horrific event that happened at University of Idaho has drawn national and international attention. Redditor 2201992 shared some Fox News footage of the investigation, including an interview with a victim's father. During the interview, something odd happens. Listen closely. Um, Holy that's a scream. It does sound like a scream to me too. Some in the comments say it happens three times on the full video posted on the Fox News website. Whether or not this can be explained, considering the interviewer is at the scene of the incident, this terrifying shriek made my hair stand on end. Um, holy that's a scream. Imagine going out for a relaxing day on the beach and seeing this mysterious figure walking just a couple of miles away. <coughs> this tall man with a bright white head and all black clothes walks towards the water as if nothing is out of the ordinary. I will add that this area looks pretty lonely, and there's really no reason for anybody to dress up like Slenderman as a prank here. It's too bad the person filming wasn't able to get any closer, though I can certainly respect their desire to keep as much space as possible. A YouTuber named D-Dog Vlogs has been uploading since mid-2016 and specializes in exploring haunted places that are about as scary as they come, with a preference for historic locations whenever possible. He has been known to pair up with the likes of Mosarji and others in an effort to push his paranormal investigations to greater lengths and solidify his place in the YouTube ghost hunting community. On January 20th of 2020, he heads to a single story home that is rumored to old secrets so terrible that no one in the community wanted to share any details aside from a basic address. Curious, he heads to the site with fellow ghost hunters, Tay and Carlo, to see for themselves what this house holds. The first thing they notice is a glowing yellow light that flickers oddly over a door that's bolted shut. It's one of the only words working lights left in the house, and it's shining like a beacon to get their attention. But look at that room. That's creepy. But more on that in a moment. For now, watch how the camera goes out of focus like something or someone invisible is standing right in front of them. It happens again here at exactly three minutes and ironically goes on until he's finished asking people to comment if they see anything. Now, I don't know if these places are haunted or not, so comment down below if you guys see or hear anything. I'm not saying they're haunted, I'm just not sure. After some more exploring, they return to this mysterious locked door and see marks where it had been repeatedly drilled shut with a padlock. Something incredibly strong must have been in here at one point, and the family must have been intent on keeping it contained. Yet when they open the door, they are surprised to find a colorful race car border above. This is a kid's room of all places. They suspect that a child was locked in here for long periods of time, and I think the evidence Evidence proves that much is true. Perhaps they were even kept here well into adulthood, might I add. Furthermore, they seem to think this section of the door was either struck or clawed out over time, possibly after an extended period of isolation, which would require immense strength. I think it could simply be termite damage, but you tell me. So I want to know why you think the child was locked in here. It could have been evil parents or behavioral problems. The extent to which they had to go in order to keep the child contained seems to indicate an extreme psychological state that would require them to be on alert at all times. Their child probably needed to be kept away from sharp objects and locked in at night so that they don't do something drastic to themselves or to their parents while they slept. On the contrary, maybe that's not the case at all, and the child had evil, disturbed parents who did this for no reason. D-Dog explores a different abandoned house two months later on March 28th, and this investigation gets so crazy that I need your help to figure out if it's real. Is this red paint, or is it what I think it is? I really hope not. That's so much. At 2 minutes and 10 seconds, it kind of looks like somebody got jabbed in the corner, stumbled a few steps forward to the center of the room, and then went to the doorway. 
Then they doubled back, still leaking, and probably crumpled in this corner where the trail ends. Or maybe that's where they were put by someone else. Tiny red splotches leading upstairs gives me the impression that more than one person was here. This red substance has dried against the wall and hardly looks reassuring. And sadly, in the corner of this upstairs room is more evidence. But creepiest of all, even more so than what's on the wall or on the floor, is what's in this small, unassuming corner, or rather what happens when they go near. This is the only part of the video that becomes blurry, and for no reason at all. It's as if something is trying to get their attention, and perhaps figuring out for the first time that it is crossed onto the other side and can no longer communicate with the living. Now you're probably wondering where the homeowners were, and so was I. But with a basement flooded with solid ice, I think we both know the answer. This video, titled The Cave of Screaming Terror, sounds a bit dramatic until you get about midway through. Donnell Buckley is exploring the sea cave along the coast of Ireland by himself when suddenly the water becomes higher and Donnell hears this strange sound behind him. A series of shrill, high-pitched screams coming from somewhere deep within the cave makes Donald decide to leave the vicinity. He never gives proper explanation and I think it definitely creeped him out. If you can identify what kind of creature this is, then please do so. It almost sounds like some kind of exotic bird, but it also somewhat resembles some of the more convincing rake videos that I've seen before. We are going to an abandoned house today. It's near my house. No one's been in for like four or five years. The place is haunted. A YouTuber named Chippy Watson is exploring an abandoned house at 3 a.m. to make a video they will forever remember as a paranormal investigation gone wrong. First, they find this little room that gives them the creeps and makes them shut the door because a ghost is near, or at least that's what it feels like to them. Oh, no. Shut that. I bet you didn't notice this, but at 2 minutes and 21 seconds, right when he opens the door, a ghost orb or some kind of strange light is caught on camera seemingly moving into the small room. That's creepy. Yeah. Come, they don't go exploring much of the attic because the floor is nothing but soft insulation that they don't want to fall through at any time, much less at 3 a.m. I don't see anything haunted or scary caught on camera here, but if you do, let me know. They find some more weird and possibly paranormal evidence in the basement in the form of footsteps in the dust. Someone has been walking around in circles over and over again and kicking holes in this room. What? Hold on the footsteps. Look at the holes in the wall. Maybe poltergeist activity, maybe kids partying in an abandoned house. The group goes exploring upstairs some more and finds the door open. A ghost opened the door, they think. I say it could be a loose doorknob, of which there are plenty to be found in abandoned houses. But then again, they did get scared in this part before and felt like a ghost was near, so it could be paranormal. And that's when the scariest 3am moment of all happens. His friend tells him to come closer to catch the scary ghost noises on camera. Uh. Did you just knock? Soft knocking noises are coming from the other side of the door. It's not them either. The stick he's holding doesn't touch the wall. Watch. What? 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 And when two more knocks happen while well, he's standing even farther away, so it's not him. Did you just knock? Who knows what they would have seen if they looked inside the room for a final time. What goes up must come down. Posted by V Fieldson on TikTok as Fieldson walks beside a house, capturing a bicycle lying in the middle of the sidewalk. 
He pulls the shot upright, catching the roof of the house in frame. Someone is up there watching him. The watcher appears to be filming him too. At least he seems to be holding something with a light on. He rushes from view and darkness envelopes him. Of course, this is TikTok, so that's where the clip ends. However, as we know, what goes up must come down. After all, he's got to come down from that rooftop eventually. There's nothing more disturbing than the sound of an unexpected and unknown siren. What could possibly be impending? A tornado tearing through the town? What are we being warned about? Posted by Epic Memer Boy 0123 to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the uploader writes that he started to hear sirens randomly midday. In the clip, the sirens sound quite high pitched, almost like a car horn beeping long and restlessly. Several in the comments suggest it's a test siren of some kind, either for tornado warnings or other emergencies. The Redditor clarifies that it lasted for around 10 to 15 minutes. Superman Connor writes, That definitely sounds too long to be a tornado siren then. When the Redditor mentions that a friend said it was an air raid siren, Superman responds those only last about 30 seconds. It seems the Redditor isn't the only one suffering from unknown siren syndrome. The Wastelander 96 writes, Something similar happened near here a couple nights ago when the sirens just went off for like 10 to 15 minutes and then just stopped. Perhaps it is an emergency siren that they are testing, but for a different kind of emergency, wonder what that could be. This woman claims that she would go to bed at night only to be woken up by strange noises and left with the unshakable feeling that she was not alone. When she sets up a camera to record some evidence, she finds this bizarre footage the next day. Imagine watching yourself trying to sleep while this figure haunts your dreams. At one point, the supposed phantom appears to be lunging at her. She says that she believes she was still awake during this point and remembers seeing nothing. Only when the contrast on the video was enhanced did anything become visible. A remote-controlled robot is inspecting a 42-inch sewer pipe for anything out of the ordinary when it comes across a creepy find that will make your skin crawl. The water looks relatively clear at first, but then the camera operator looks down in time to see a wriggling mass of giant worm-like creatures the size of snakes. They are piled up so high that they almost breach the surface. I have no idea what these are, nor do I have any idea what so many are doing down here. Someone please help me identify what these creatures are, and while you're at it, let me know what the odds are of one climbing through the sewer pipes and into my home. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Odd Entertainment 279 the Redditor titled this post, Croaky Ghost Sound, and they went on to include some more backstory in the comments writing, I was at this weird abandoned BBC receiving station that closed in the 70s. Watch this back just now. This sound was in the video. Took this just two days ago. Well, let's have a listen. Did you hear it? If so, what do you think it is? More than one person in the comments thinks it's a frog, but I can't say I have enough frog knowledge to agree or disagree. Do you think this is the case? Or are you siding with the OP? Who thinks he's captured a ghost sound on camera outside this abandoned building? Nothing is more terrifying than surveillance footage of an event, especially one that ends human life. This video footage shows three suspects involved in a double life taking in South Ogden, Utah. Surveillance footage surrounding the scene of the event captured two suspects peering through the home's windows and later a masked man fleeing the scene. All three suspects were wearing hard plastic masks. According to several news articles documenting the event, police believe the incident was not random, but targeted, and that the suspects were familiar with both the people in their home. South Ogden Police Chief Darren Park noted that while reports of a loud party had been made to police, 
he asked any witnesses to come forward and said in a statement that he hoped the families of the people will gain some closure. Multiple surveillance cameras caught the suspect scoping out the home. One suspect was wearing a mask, while the two others wore opaque plastic masks as they approached. One camera showed a suspect crouched down, watching the home for a while, after which the second suspect and later the third joined in. A second camera caught them peering into the home's windows. Following the event, one of the men was seen on a third camera hopping over a fence. As of the latest update found online, dated March 2019 by ABC4, the double life taking remains unsolved. More has been pieced together of the night's events, including the fact that three of the Van Komen brothers lived in the home, while the unfortunate older neighbor, Kevin Nelson, had just dropped by when the event occurred. Once two of the Van Komen brothers left to pick up some food, leaving just one and one other roommate inside, the stranger seized the opportunity to enter. The brothers were gone for no more than 10 minutes, and when they returned, they found Kyle passed away on the floor. Van Komen's mother, Renee Finch, said of the footage, I think that it's creepy that they're out there watching. Adding later, we're very thankful we didn't lose all three of our boys that night. Nelson's nephew, Ralph Nelson Jr., also said of his uncle that he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, a feeling echoed by Finch, who doesn't know why her son might be targeted. There was no clear motive for the double life taking, which is likely why the trail remains cold today. Despite over 70 people being questioned over the past three years, unsolved mysteries are in inherently terrifying, and the coldness of this case compounds that fear. A YouTube channel called Salamya 3 Alum is demonstrating a high-flying hobby known as fire acrobatics when some creepy paranormal activity is caught on camera. Caught in the light of his flaming barrel is a mysterious hooded ghostly figure that hovers against the wall of an abandoned house for a few brief scary moments and then disappears. The video looks pretty real to most because the ghost appears to be the same resolution as everything else and its color does not sharply contrast with the video. This video, however creepy, has one thing that looks wrong. Notice how the video fades to black at 11 seconds. This part makes me wonder if this ghost sighting is actually real. A TikToker named Presley Belshare is making a video when her closet door opens from the inside. Coincidentally, it happens to be at the exact moment the male backup vocals kick in during the song, which unfortunately I don't think I can play in this video. Presley Belshare says that she did not plan this video at all. I probably believe her because when the door opens, it looks like a white flash of light comes from within the closet if you look close enough. Let me know if you think I'm way off base, or if you think you can see it too. Roofers in Miami, Florida have a creepy encounter with some scary creatures hiding among us. One of them removes a shingle and has only seconds to get away from these creepy creatures of the night caught on camera. After some more investigating, they discovered to their horror that the bats are not coming from a hole in the house, but are rather nestled under each shingle by the dozens. Suddenly, the removal job has become a lot more complicated and beyond creepy, as they have to pry open each area without getting in the way of awakening bats. At 8 minutes and 15 seconds, bats are flying into this guy's face and threatening to knock him off balance. Eventually, it looks like they've gotten rid of them all, but just knowing that I'm one shingle away from a face full of bats would probably be scary enough to make me find another company to work for, and possibly another career altogether. This video takes place somewhere in the South American country of Chile during the middle of a street race. A number of cars rush past and soon an animal randomly materializes without making so much as a sound. Watch again in slow motion, and it really does appear as though the dog steps out of an invisible portal. You can see its front half emerge first, followed by the torso and back legs. Then again, the blurred edges around the dog's body does look like it could be made through editing. I am not an expert in video editing though by any means. 
So let me know if you think this is real or CGI and how you could tell the difference. School is in session in this haunted classroom, shared by YouTubers Blah Blah and Depths of Despair, and originally shared on TikTok by Andreas Her 26. This scary video is trending in the Arabic speaking YouTube community. A paranormal explorer heads into a derelict school, and what he finds there is terrifying. Who is this child? Is she in night school? The young girl definitely looks cryptic. She's wearing the uniform of scary movie girl ghosts everywhere. White garb with long dark hair. She doesn't look up from her desk. And when the cameraman turns back, she's disappeared. I would 100% believe this place is haunted if only for one thing. The cameraman quickly draws away from the door and stays away for too long for no apparent reason, except perhaps to give the ghost girl plenty of time to hide. Finish. Why wouldn't he enter the room to get a closer look? Why turn the camera to the hallway? Although there are doubts about this video, I love the concept. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.